Welcome to it, you beauties. Yes, class is in session, my friends. It's a quarter to the weekend, <laughs> and we've got your weekend plans coming. Just say it, man. Just say it, dude. Get it out. I'm just saying, do you not think that Graham looks like a, um, a teacher, a geography teacher today? <laughs> He's got that look, and I feel like a student. I want to put up my hand and ask him, so what is J.P. Sebastian doing for us today, teacher? Um, well, that's a very good question, Carl. You can sit <laughs> back in your seat at the back of the class. J.P. is uh, JP is here, of course, <laughs> to do what he does best, and that's bring us into the world of cinematic brilliance and this morning he's going to be chatting about uh, the film called the boy and the heron i think there is something special about this one there's a bit of magic there can't wait to find out more yes mr wasty i have a, i have something Go for can it. i you're add allowed, you're allowed. Uh, we are going to bring you some entertainment because we have uh, it's kind of magic here we've got some of the cast Ooh. members and they're going to be fantastic uh, so they'll be here they've got season two coming up and if you love magic you're going to love the show this morning because espresso brings you magic every single morning oh man and then he is a magician a genius in the kitchen chef clem is going to whip up a spicy chicken scotch egg with smoky mustard dressing there's a lot going on there but it's what? going to be amazing and then of course gabby san giorgio is going to show us how to make maize meal and pilchard croquettes yes please plus uh, some beautiful uh, pan pesto gnocchi it's going to be crazy, man. Yes. That is, without a doubt, the craziest breakfast we've ever had on the show, I think. And then, if you want some entertainment, because at break time, we have somebody performing who is award-winning to Melo ZA, and that is going to be sensational for you. Look at that. That's to Melo. So break time. Don't miss it. Grab your lunches. It's going to be fun. Uh, unfortunately, I think you need to go to the headmaster's office, Mr. Wasey. Thank you. You've got to chat about your behavior this morning. But we're going to speak to someone who is always beautifully behaved. In fact, she is my favorite pupil in the class. Aww. Good morning, Sanele. Oh, good morning, my beautiful family. I love that you said I'm beautifully behaved. My principal might be a little bit shocked by that, but it's fine. It's okay. I'll take it. Hello, beautiful Expresso family, and welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast show. Of course, you heard everything that is on the menu today, and I absolutely love that the guys use the word crazy, because when you go into the weekend, crazy is always good. It's always what you need. You know what I mean? And this is why we actually want to hear from you on the social media streets. What's going down that's a little bit crazy in your community, huh? We want to know on the Good Morning morning post hashtag expresso show and also you can let us know in a voice note 063-408-8863 what's happening in and around your surroundings this weekend within your community within your neighborhood what's going to be going down is it an event is it something that's bringing everyone together is it maybe a huge celebration or a small celebration we want to know about it so first and foremost one of our cameramen here at the johannesburg studios lucisa he said that for him there's no load shedding in his community which is nice. I like to hear that. <laughs> Any South African does. I will also tell you that for me, I know that there's an R&B session that's going to be happening in and around four ways in Johannesburg. So hello. What about you? What's happening in your community this weekend? We want to know all about it as your Expresso family. For now, we need to take care of business. So Carl is standing by with the news headlines. Good morning, Carl. Well, let's take a look at the news. Thanks a lot, Zanele. And starting off nationally, the Gauteng Transport MEC, Kerebone Dialet Labella, says negotiations between the rival Soweto Taxi Associations, the Witwatersrand Taxi Association, and the Nansfield Dube West Association are once again deadlocked. Negotiations between the two began last month following violent shooting incidents, not only resulting in fatalities among operators, but passengers as well. Feuds over routes between the two associations have been going on for years. Diale Tlabela says both believe that the routes belong to them and that they're the owners. Now, the SA Civil Aviation Authority says aviation operations have increased by 8% in the past financial year. The organization's director, Poppy Koza, says safety in the air is non-negotiable. Meanwhile, the airport company of South Africa says rising visitor numbers have led to direct growth in the tourism sector. Airports handled a record number of passengers in the past financial year. One of airport company's regional general managers, Mark McLean, said the large number of visitors had led to job creation and growth in the local economy. Now on to international news, Kenya's chief of the Defense Force, General Francis Ogola, has died in a helicopter crash in the west of the country. He was in the helicopter with 11 other military personnel, including a brigadier and a colonel. 
Uh, there were only two survivors. President William Ruto said it was a moment of great sadness for the country and described the General Kenya's uh, highest ranking military officer as a gallant officer who had died in the line of duty. The nation will observe a three day period of mourning commencing today. Now, Microsoft said it found Russian online campaigns aimed at influencing the outcome of the upcoming U.S. presidential election had kicked into gear over the past 45 days. However the, well, however, the activity is said to be slower than seen around past elections. The tech giant said that Russia-linked accounts were disseminating divisive content aimed at U.S. audiences, including criticizing American support of Ukraine in its war with Russia. However, the activity is slower than in previous elections, but it could just be the beginning of more to come. And wrapping up with a lovely story, because Cape Town's Cableway Charity Challenge, now in its 15th edition, is set to kick off on Table Mountain at sunrise around 10 past 7 tomorrow. That's in the morning. Now, this mass hiking event invites individuals, corporate teams and school groups to climb Plutterclip Gorge repeatedly throughout the day to raise funds for charitable causes. Despite the challenging terrain of Plutterclip Gorge, uh, participants view the challenge as a social and enjoyable experience uh, catering to everyone from seasoned hikers to casual adventurers too. The 2024 Charity Challenge supports various impactful causes, including organic farming, empowerment, early childhood development, and of course nutritious meals for underprivileged communities. Emergency services assistance and wildfire response efforts in the Western Cape are also benefiting. The aim is to raise one million rand for these deserving beneficiaries. And that's it for your news for now. Another update in one hour. Let's get your sport kicked off. Here's Graham. Oh, if only sport really was a class at school. Let's kick it off with some footy this morning and you know, talk about uphill battles. Atalanta had theirs. They secured a spot in the Europa League semi-finals despite their one loss to Liverpool last night, prevailing 3-1 on aggregate and edging closer to their first ever European final in so doing. Despite a quick start from Liverpool with Mohamed Salah's early penalty, Atlanta then held firm, denying the English side a remarkable comeback. As a result, Atlanta now face Marseille in the semi-finals. Then staying with some footballing news, starting from the upcoming season, the Football Association has decided to eliminate FA Cup replays from the first round onward in conjunction with the Premier League now. So this significant change is in response to the expanded UEFA calendar. That's where the money is and that necessitates a streamlined tournament schedule. By consolidating all FA Cup rounds to weekends, including the fifth round, logistical challenges and fixture congestion will be minimalized, ensuring a more efficient competition structure, which I think the fans will appreciate as well. Now let's get into the rugby and the gristle of last weekend's rugby. Bulls flanker Cameron Hanukom has now thankfully been cleared to continue playing after a citing complaint against him was rejected by the EPCR disciplinary committee panel. So the incident in question involving a tip tackle on Northampton Saints' Fraser Dingwall that was during their Champions Cup quarterfinal. Despite being cited for dangerous play, the panel deemed Hanukom's actions did not merit a red card, thus allowing him to resume playing immediately and of course make him available more importantly for the weekend's URC match up against Munster. Then let's turn to Crick and the IPL has been serving it up and Gerald Kutsia has been partly responsible along with Jasper Brumra. They start as the Mumbai Indians clinched a thrilling nine-run victory over the Punjab Kings in their Indian Premier League um, encounter last night. So opting to bowl first after winning the toss, the hosts saw Soyav Kumar Yadav's entertaining half-century propel the Indians to a competitive 192 for seven in their allotted 20 overs. And Kutsia with figures of three for 32 in four overs and Brumra claiming three for 21 and 4 then decimated the Punjab Kings top order setting up a commanding position for their team however a remarkable fight back from the hosts almost saw them snatch a victory from the jaws of defeat before eventually being bowled out for 183 but it must be said some of the biggest scores in crickets over the last week just keep your eyes firmly focused there and um, that's where we leave our sport for now it's the foot of the weekend baby the weather a little bit more important let's find out if there are any warnings and what those temperatures are looking like. There is actually one warning, Graham. Now, the SA Weather Service has issued only one warning for today, and that is that the northern and central parts of the Northern Cape face extremely high fire danger conditions. The remainder of the country anticipates dry and moderate weather leading into the weekend. 
Meanwhile, multiple departments convened last night to assess the aftermath of the Margate floods, the storm that struck the KZN South Coast town and its environs on Sunday claimed five lives and inflicted significant damage on infrastructure. Margate is the latest to be hit by devastating flash floods following a spate of similar events in the province since 2022. And naturally, all of our thoughts and prayers go out to anybody affected by those floods. Now, remember to share your morning views with us, please. We'd love to see what your sunrise looks like. 63 And let's take a closer look at the temperatures across South Africa. When we talk about a crazy show, we said we're going to give it to you. So Mission Crazy is a go. And listen to me. I am talking about the fact that today we have got a superstar in the building. Coming up, we're going to be catching up with Dumelo ZA. He did not just bag only four nominations at the Metro FM Music Awards, but he's also going to be performing right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. That along with JP reviewing The Boy and The Heron. It is a beautiful show indeed. So please make sure you don't go anywhere. We've got a whole lot to do all the way until 9 o'clock. But let's take a short break. Go to the bar. Bathroom, go get some coffee and then let's reunite in the next two minutes right here on S3. It's my feel-good birthday show. Silly for the weekend, and my honey, we're taking you into it the best way we know how. And this is why we brought along a superstar this morning. I am talking about a hit maker, a record breaker, somebody who is continuing to do the things that need to be done in the Amapiano scenes and beyond. And he is someone that actually gave us Umnike, along with Tyler ICU. Tumelo ZA is an absolute talent, and we've been seeing Amapiano open doors all around the country. But for this guy, it's opened all of the doors because he is now a four-time nominated Metro Film Music Awards artist. And honestly and truly, I feel like he's going to be taking home those awards, baby. So everybody with me, heike, heike, heike. Let's welcome to Bella Zed. Hey! Tumelo, how are you? I'm well, thanks for you, Sissi. I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Tumelo, I'm so proud of you. You've thank been you doing so, so incredibly well. Thank also, you, you, you gave me one of my favorite songs in the world, you know what I mean? Pleasure. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Tumelo, when you were young and you were dreaming about the life that you wanted for yourself, mm -hmm. especially as an artist, did you see moments like this happening? Not at all. It was like, boom, to me, you know? Mm. Mshava, like, accepted me, like, 
quickly, so like, yeah. it was like boom. I, I love that. Yeah. And were you ready for it with that boom when it nah. came? Because it was a boom. You're not ready for a boom, obviously. I get that. So yeah, yeah. I wasn't ready for it. Are you enjoying the ride though? So much, so, so, so much, because I'm meeting like, Big people going big places, you know. Yeah, it's 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 a joy ride for me. It's because you're a big artist. You Yo. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> see it as that, though. But though. I see it like that oh, because okay. already you have already <laughs> taken over so incredibly well, and now you're getting to work with really big people. So that's why I need to ask because I know for me, like when yeah, I yeah. came into the industry, there were a couple of people who I've been looking up to who helped me to kind of propel mm -hmm. my career. Do you have any artists that you kind of worked with that Obviously, really helped you? Out? Tyler, Tyler, oh, I see you, man. Tyler. I love that. Tyler, ew, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. Mm. For a person, it's like, I'd be easy and like, put you up there. It's, yes. It's not a child's play. So it's, it's not. Tyler. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Tyler. And I mean, the fact that you guys are getting to win awards together now, that's you a see? big thing. Plus, after one year, mm. I mean, it's for a young beautiful. person like me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And so many young people are able to look up to you, which I think is incredible. Mm, but so much. let's talk about the Ama Piano scene now, because, mm. you know, when you started in music, of course, Ama Piano is still new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What genre did you want to go into? Hip hop, because I started um, thingy, producing hip hop. And really? I was like, yeah. Mm. yeah, I wanted to like do R&B and stuff. So I saw with you, piano is like the wave. Let me. You Jump know, off, try, let yeah. me ride it. And you see, mm. I done a magic, you know. I love it. Yeah. And tell me, who were some of the artists that kind of inspired you when you were young and kind of wanting to um, go into hip hop? The Weeknd, man. I the, love him. The Weeknd. I love I him mean, so much. The way he sings, you know. Yeah. Yes, The Weeknd. I love that. And in South Africa? South, South. Uh, yeah. I have to say Tyler again, you man. He's your boy. I mean, yeah, like he's my brother. <laughs> I love like, that. Yeah. yeah. But now let's go into you and these Metro Film Music Awards. I mean, the nominations were announced not too long ago. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. we're literally eight days away from us finding yeah. out, you know, whether or not you guys have picked up. There's four of them, Expresso Family. Listen to this. Best collaboration, song of the year, best viral challenge, and best Amapia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can... <laughs> <laughs> I see you getting excited. <laughs> what does this mean to you and how are you feeling? It means like. It's a mi milestone for me, you know? Yeah. What's your boy? You young and like it's been a year and you're getting like nominated like Uma Metro. Like, yes. come on, it's a big thing for me. It's know? huge. Yeah. The Metro started big. like what? I think in 2001, 2003. So Imagine. Maybe. Right? Can you when you weren't even born? Yes. How old are you, Dumelo? I'm 20 years old. Oh my goodness. And look at all your dreams already coming true. Man. It's so beautiful. Yeah, thank you so much. And talk to me now about this because we know Ama Piano has changed the lives of so many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even me, I'm not an artist, but like, you know, it's just it's made life really great in terms of mm. the music we consume. Mm -hmm. How has Ama Piano changed your life? As I said, in Sure. Like, as young as I am, we're UK, like, imagine. Yes. Like, I'm from abroad, so in Fagemazuin, you know. I love that. Changed how, like, people, like, view me, you know, mm. perspective, yeah. I'm, yeah, about towards me now and stuff, yeah. That's so, beautiful. Yeah. Dumelo, I'm proud of you. Thank like you, you so said, much. straight out of the UK, honey. Yeah. <laughs> right from the UK onto the stage of the Espresso family's beautiful place that we have together with you and us. Friend, make sure you do not go anywhere because this superstar is going to be taking us on a journey a little bit later on when he performs. So that's one reason to stick around, but there's a whole lot more. And that's why we got to head to Cape Town right now with my family. Hi, guys. Yeah, boy. Yes, we are family. We are indeed. Thank you so much, Sanele. Looking forward to seeing the performance a little bit later. But yep. for now, there is a massive performance that you would do if you actually had to win the Powerball, Powerball Plus, because it's 8 million rand in total estimated jackpots mm. this Friday. That's the day. And you can become a winner and Mzansi's next multi-millionaire. Mm -hmm. uh, it's closer than you think, man. It's right there. You just got to do it. Play. So you can play your Powerball for an estimated 5 million this morning and then a Powerball Plus mm. for an estimated 3 million rand this Friday. But if you want to win, you got to play and this is how you can do it. So this is how you do it. Okay. Tickets. Uh -huh. You walk in store. You say, hi, I'd like a ticket. Done. Then nationallottery.co.za. There's a website for you or the mobile app. Nice and convenient. You can also buy your tickets through your cell phone banking or by simply dialing star 120 star 7529 hash for USSD.
Mm -hmm. Our amazing social media team can't give you the numbers, but they will keep those details up on all of our platforms. So you've got no excuses. You can check them out at your leisure and then just put yourself in the running. Just go and play Powerball and Powerball Plus today. Why? Eight million reasons why. Eight million rand up in estimated jackpots today. But you got to ponder, push a play. I'm going to play today. Yes, I'm do today it. we are going to play. We're going to press play on a review of a certain movie. Uh, the Boy and the Heron with J.P. Sebastian, who is looking so good and ready to go on that couch. Just look at him. There we go. You see that? Look, that's actually a Ooh. real bicep. We haven't CGI that in. No, we didn't. didn't yeah. have to. Uh, you just need to see balance on, on the other side. Um, and then, of course, uh, there is a little bit of magic in the studio if you want to be blown away. It's a kind of magic season two returns, and we'll get the ins and outs and a little sleight of hand coming your way. I know, I love magic so much. I'm going to roll down my sleeves. Are we going to disappear now? Maybe. Okay, there just go. watch. Three, two, one. Wow! Welcome back, you beauties, uh, on the foot of the weekend. Yes, we must focus on the cinema. Why? Because there is lots to take in, especially um, some beautiful films doing rounds at the moment. And JP Sebastian seems particularly moved by this one. That's his emotional moved face. Yes. Can you see he's imbued with with a beautiful energy this morning? Let's stop talking about, talk about the me being imbued. And the heron. Um, uh, so I think one of the reasons that I'm very silent is because of this reverence that one should have for Studio Ghibli and Hayao Miyazaki. This is his first film since retirement. He's back after 10 years. And uh, so to talk about this is his producer, Toshio Suzuki. Uh, who has been with Studio Ghibli for the longest time, one of the co-founders of Ghibli, and what he's going to be talking about is the global reaction to this movie. It is now Studio Ghibli's highest grossing opening movie in Japan. Wow. And it actually sent the book that is based on back into circulation of the publisher. The publisher rushed. Wow. They were like, people are buying this book too fast. We have to get back on it. So uh, out today gracious. is the movie that won the Academy Award for Best Feature Film Animation. It is The Boy and the Heron in South Africa. Uh, do your soul a favor, but in the meantime, have a look. Please. で、なんだかって言ったらやっぱり皆さんいろんな人がね、僕らが声かける以前にね、
なんだろうコミュニケーションを交わしながら笑顔を絶やさないで。I love that energy. I love that personal moment between very old friends, guys who have been through a lot together yep, friends, as well.、Uh, and also work colleagues, because actually the heron in this is based on his relationship with the producer. So,、oh, you know,、wow. you, as, we, as we find in TV as well,、uh, the, sometimes you have fights. The producer's trying to get the thing done. Yes. And you, as the creative person, is just like, no, I just want my, <laughs> my creative juices to flow. So,、uh, it's almost the relationship between Hayao Miyazaki, the director, and this heron being, being the producer, Toshio Suzuki. But it's also very autobiographical about the life of Miyazaki. So, I'll tell you about the story about the boy and the heron, which、yeah. in Japan has a much heavier name. I don't think that the boy and the heron is a bad name. People are being stupid debating about this. But、uh, the original story, name is How Do You Live? Wow. And、uh, it's like, hey, Emmanuel, how do you live? Yeah, that's、uh, But be at a the same time, it's like, it's <laughs> pleading with you, how do you go on? Knowing the state of the world, knowing the state of your personal life. And so the main character in this is Mahito. He's a little boy, he's 11 years old, and this is. Just before <laughs> the, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan, that doesn't even feature in the movie, but it's at the start of World War II. His mother dies, and for the longest time, obviously, he's struggling with it. She dies in a fire. And then his father、uh, starts a new life with, with another woman, and he moves in with his family. And that's obviously a difficult enough、uh, transformation in itself. And at this new house that he lives, There's this heron that keeps nagging him, this, this、uh, elegant, well, not very beautiful bird. You'll see for yourself, it's got its reasons to be ugly.、Uh, <laughs> that keeps hassling him, calling his name, telling him, Save me, Mahito, I'm your mother, come save me, kind of thing, like、uh, pleading、okay. with him to come to the other side. So it takes him to this magical tower on the, the residence. And there he enters this world very much like if you'll remember, Guillermo da Toro did Pan's Labyrinth,、yes. where the little girl is called to this parallel world during a vicious time of fascism in Japan、uh, to save her baby brother. And in this, it's to the, can he bring his mother back from the dead?、Um, so you can hear already, I'm pretty heartbroken by the story.、Yeah. So, I mean, what do I even say about this, guys?、Uh, Miyazaki is back after 10 years. We thought that he was done. And shame, everything in this guy's soul, when you watch interviews with him, he's, he seems like dejected and he's like, what's the point sometimes? Life is so cruel. He carries a lot、so、of、cool. this with him. And yeah, every、clearly. movie that he makes is weirdly medicine for him as well.、Yeah. In the interviews, he's one sad person, and every movie is so deeply hopeful for humanity.、Um, Interesting dynamic here between the heron and the boy, and which I think that、uh, Western movies don't necessarily do enough. That doesn't mean that Western movies are bad, but there's almost an adversarial thing. It's like we have Jiminy Cricket in the West, you have Timon and Pumbaa, you have these sweet things that are following you around、yeah. and have your back at all times, your cheerleaders. But here, the, the heron wants its own reasons for, for tricking this、there's、boy. An agenda, the boy、yeah. knows that he's been tricked, but he goes down the rabbit hole anyway because he bravely goes forward. So,、uh, There is nothing I can say about a movie that is as is, beautiful as this movie. Is it his greatest work?、Uh, def- even that is hard to say,、okay. man. So afterwards, I'm going to, in another segment, I'm going to talk to you about Hayao Miyazaki and why he's so important to you. And he actually is in your genetics, he actually is in your DNA, and I'll show you why in, 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 in that next segment. But、uh, The Boy and the Heron is it's, it's incredible, and it's a gift to be alive at the same time as Hayao Miyazaki. Wow.、Uh, what I'll summarize the feeling of this movie is, is it's medicine. Uh, it's good for your soul、uh, and it's gonna make you weep. And there are whole scenes where it makes you cry as well that a child could just feel that way about themselves, that a child could be self destructive. There are scenes where it's so much more subtle sometimes than a lot of the movies we see where. Uh, his mother dies in a fire and he's crying out to someone who's using fire to save him in another situation. Please, you're gonna hurt these other birds, kind of、yeah. thing. And you know that, like, you know, another movie、no、we're like, oh, he's talking、that. about his mom. It's like the trauma surfaces out of him in a very naturalistic kind of way. Miyazaki, look, in the technical respects, he's a master. And so、uh, he animates humans in a way that a lot of live action actors can't even do human the、yeah. way Ghibli does human. Here's another look, however, at the reuniting of this team that I keep mentioning, Studio Ghibli. And it's、uh, the producer, Toshio Suzuki, again, talking about this. After a decade, they're back, and, and you should be grateful. We should all be in the streets cheering ever, and at the same、yeah. time weeping、uh, for the possibility to see the boy and the heron out in South Africa today. Have a look. So, my name is Nan. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. そしたらお客さんがね映画館にいっぱい来てくれちゃったんですよねだから多分皆さんが喜んでくれたんじゃないかまず最初にそう思いましたそしてその後日本ではですよいろんなね
意見がネットに出始めてでそこに書かれてたのはねもう一回見なきゃもう一回見なきゃの連続だったんですよどうやら一回見ただけでは、ね、全部がわからないあわからないんだと思ってあお客さんどんどんこれだと来ちゃうなと思ったことは確かです。My, my bad, by the way, I've got the clips mixed up, but they were the same clips. That one was the global reactions, the first one was the one with the team reuniting. JP is <laughs> he's on the couch, you're watching this. A bit of an emotional spin at the Absolutely. moment, because you want but, from a film but like this. But with, with Hayao Miyazaki, what you got to do, and what you got to do with the boy and the heron is embrace the mystery sometimes. Yeah. We were talking about uh, some scenes, not in this movie as much, but in a lot of these movies,、uh, you've got to hammer the point because children are watching. Children、yes. sometimes can't get these things. But like Graham was saying to me earlier, he's been exposed to a lot of these movies yourself too,、yeah. Carl, st-、uh, Spirited Away, for example.、Yeah. Uh, it's even hard for an adult to negotiate what's going on inside, shame for this poor character. And so you're not maybe, maybe going to get. The Boy and the Heron for the first watch, and you'll have to watch it three more times. And that's one of the great respectful things that an artist can do is build a world where though there was one person in the audience or a thousand, it would continue without you. This is happening somewhere. That this character goes to this parallel yeah, world、sure. uh, of, of the living and the dead, what you're looking at here, to save his mother. And、um, it exists whether you're in there or not. In the same way,、uh, Picasso or Jackson Pollock or、uh, the Mona Lisa, they're somewhere else right now. It、yeah, doesn't、sure. matter if we're witnessing. Uh, the triumph that、uh, the boy in the heron is. I suppose you want to hear a number, right? <laughs> oh, buddy, I don't think we even need no, after think, that I, preamble. I'll let you do that before you.、Uh, I'll let you do that in a second. <laughs> but another point、um, what's beautiful about this, everyone really likes to eat up sometimes the detail of Miyazaki movies.、Mm-hmm. You can live in every frame you're looking、yes. at. But yeah, he's gotten so much more impress- impressionistic with age. And I think that a lot of that reason is similar to like, the profit of a lot of people, and I don't mean to be blasphemous here. Uh, but similar to the way Jesus Christ was telling people, stop obsessing with the miracle, listen to the message. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so there are scenes where the, the detail the is hyper focused at emotional heights. And then at other times, it's these broad, beautiful strokes because he wants you in these twilight years to realize the message he's trying to impart on you that life is precious and that we should be gentler with ourselves and to one another. For that reason, Carl gets to give this movie a number. What is JP's special number for? The, the, last, last, there, the last time he was this emotional about a movie was Dune.、Uh-huh. So I'm going to go 10. It is 10 out of 10, a、yes! another masterpiece. It's,、uh, I don't think that there is a single movie Hayao Miyazaki has done that is not 10 out of 10.、Uh, it's preposterous. Can we, can we have a new class of movie introduced this year called the Super Movie? I'm going to repeat this. For Dunes of the World.、Uh, in for these. The other segment that I talk about with Hayao Miyazaki is that we're. The way you listen,、uh, you think about Beethoven, the way you、yes. think about Picasso, the way you think about these dead people in black and white drawings. We're living with a master, we're living with a living genius.、Yeah. And he would hate to hear someone say that.、Mm. Uh, but you get this rare opportunity to share him for the time we have left with him.、Uh, and, and with your children as well, share Miyazaki's movies and definitely go see The Boy in the Heron with him. Beautiful. I was moved. That was absolutely great. In fact, more from Miyazaki a little bit later with JP Sebastian. Plus, we've got some other things coming up on the show, too.、Mm-hmm. If you like magic, it's a kind of magic. We're going to、um, be introduced to a little bit of sleight of hand and a whole lot of fun if magic is your thing, which I think it's pretty much everyone's. Stick around. These incredible souls are going to blow our minds in just a moment. It's a kind of magic. Did that guy、mm. just throw up cards? Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome back as we, I think, still enjoy, enjoy the afterglow of the review of The Boy and the Heron, an incredible piece of, it sounds like, almost cinematic history playing out right now. It looks like an incredible offering from one of the greatest, Hayao Miyazaki. That's right, sir, yes. And so what I want to do is uh, a, a profile, a love letter from JP himself. <laughs> Who is this guy? I'm just saying my, my personal favorites from his oeuvre of work, oeuvre. Um, and uh, I, I wanted to talk about Ghibli in general, but um, heck, you know, there's, there's just so much. There's Isao Takahata, another director who's remarkable. Please watch the tale of Princess Kaguya. However, just today, because of The Boy and the Heron, we're talking about that director, Hayao Miyazaki. And I think who better to introduce him than one of our greats in the West? I mentioned Guillermo del Toro from yeah. Pan's Labyrinth. And when this movie was the first animation in history at the Toronto International Film Festival to open up, uh, the Toronto International Film Festival. He had these thoughts to say about it. Uh, yeah, he is. Guillermo del Toro, the genius behind Pan's Labyrinth, behind The Shape of Water, Pacific Rim, all those movies that you love, uh, talking about his love for Hayao Miyazaki. And Miyazaki, I think, is a guy that has exquisite technical finance, but is also a man that has decided to confide in us his most intimate biography through his work. I'm sure that it's much easier to know him as a human being by watching the movies than by spending a, you know, a long road trip. But that's the mark of a real auteur. And the confessional aspect, the fearless aspect of his movies, where the structure is not bound by the Aristotelian Western three-act structure with setup. Uh, conflict, payoff, and resolution, you know? He doesn't do that. And Miyazaki proves again and again, it's not about leaving you chirpy, it's about showing you the sweet and sour of life, the loss and the love and the beauty, all at the same time. Hitchcock said, a repetition with consciousness is a style. And Miyazaki is saying, mm, I didn't get that quite right in that movie, let me get it right on this one. And his tempo was very different. Rhythmically, he's very contemplative, he's very ozu. There was something exquisite. An old master dispenses with tools and dispenses with flourishes. They stop trying to impress and they do sort of a, a simple but beautiful gesture with the brush. And that's what it felt to me. It was a, an incredibly beautiful gesture with the brush. Wow. This logo, by the way, I don't know if you know, like the HBO. Whoa. <laughs> this gives me goosebumps. When I see this blue and I see this white and I see this black, you know that you're in line for a masterpiece. You know that you're in line for the word that I used with the boy in the heron is medicine for the soul. Uh, something that's going to make you feel a warm hug, something that's going to first make you sad and then realize that there's hope if you just press on through the pain. Uh, there might be a brighter day on the other side of it. Exactly um, what the world needs right now. So let blow our minds. I want to first blow your mind. This blew Carl's mind off camera. He was like, I cannot believe he did yeah. this. Uh, when I told you that Miyazaki is in your genetics, he's literally in your blood. Roll it, director, please. The, I'm going to show you a little <laughs> showcase. And Heidi, Macy Sonder de Berger. Uh, Hayao Miyazaki was the key animator for this. What does a key animator do? He's the person who determines movement, by the way. Moo, mama, moo, papa, moo, me, me, me. And that was made Miyazaki, in 1969. 1969. So, uh, Goodness uh, gracious. He's the person who determines every movement and why these things feel as human as they do. Nausicaa and uh, of the Valley of the Wind. So now why this movie is so beautiful for me is that he's an environmentalist for a start. And uh, he's nothing is black and white to him that, oh, there's good, there's bad, there's evil, etc., etc. He's like, humans do need to survive as well. And humans are industrializing the planet. That is bad, but there has to be a way through this forest of destruction. Norsica is this beautiful message that you have to realize that humans are animals too, and we have to try and, I don't know, fight for a way through that, not just to kill the lives that we live, but also to try and save the planet we're on. My Neighbor Totoro, by the way, this is one that Benicio, uh, Guillermo del Toro is uh, so pleased to get confused. Whenever he meets children and they hug him, the guy who you just saw speaking, they think that that's, that's, that's him. <laughs> if you wanted a movie to feel like a hug, that's Totoro. Kiki's Delivery Service is another movie that feels like a warm embrace, and especially for a character who, she goes to a new town and she's got big dreams, and sometimes you realize that life is not gonna hand you your dreams, and hey, if you thought you were gonna be an amazing witch, you might just end up doing 
gig work as a delivery person. <laughs> but it is so hopeful about, look, even the smallest acts of kindness can warm a human being's heart. And I think after your yeah. child sees Kiki's delivery service, they're going to want to walk out the front door and help the first person they see. Okay. Oh, well, make your that. children watch Hayao Miyazaki's work, by the way, and especially something like Poco Rosso, where my favorite line in here, by the way, is better a pig than a fascist. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man who is cursed to look like a pig, but he fights Nazis. You, you got to love that. Oh. Princess Mononoke <laughs> is heartbreaking, and it is truly a masterpiece. And this, I think, is the first time the West notices uh, Miyazaki's work. Why I'm showing you those names of the actors, by the way, there is that you'll see things like Claire Danes, and in this you have Christian Bale as well, because at this point, people are phoning Studio Ghibli and saying, I need to voice one of your I want to be a movies. part of your world. Spirited yeah. Away was the first movie to win an Oscar for animated feature. The second movie to win animated feature prior to that was Shrek. Weirdly, animated features were only given Oscars by starting 2000. And Spirited Away, is for the first time, you have this character who, instead of being brave the way Mahito is in The Boy and the Heron, is she is a bit cowardly and she hangs off her mother's skirts. But what it's going to teach your kids is that even through the hardest, scariest moments, the darkest moments, if you just grip it and rip it, you yeah. might be able to power through with the help of others. It's all about community. And Hull's Moving Castle is also about finding community. Um, the, the beautiful message here, by the way, is that a, a lot of life is going to try and force you to pick a side. We're going to war now. It's you not, have to put, uh, not that choose simple, X or Y. Yeah. But his movies beg you sometimes to just live. Just live. Don't let the system tell you black or white, right and wrong. And interestingly, uh, even in the spirit of like, complete destruction, what you're watching here is a children's apocalypse movie. The world dies, and it's cute. <laughs> and it says that even in these deep, these depths of sadness and destruction, Maybe there's a hope that if two children lean on each other, because he's always dealing with children, he's always dealing with there's still hope a brighter there, yeah. future. There's still hope there. Uh, that there's there's still hope if you lean on each other. The Wind Rises is another masterpiece, and this gets a bit more real in its, well, well real politics is the word I was trying to say there, than some stuff like Ponyo. And it is about a guy who wants to build beautiful things like airplanes, but they're going to be used for world for the wrong destruction. Yeah. How do you walk this fine line? So similar to Oppenheimer, he thinks he's just a scientist, but he's making these... He knows what he's creating. ...tenuous yeah. sort of decisions. And finally, The Boy in the Heron is the... Hopefully not the final masterpiece, but look, Studio Ghibli has 24 movies that you have to see. Uh, thankfully, the distributor, by the way, of this movie, Gravel Road Films, God bless you guys who bring in uh, Boy in the Heron here, might be bringing every single Studio Ghibli to South Africa. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> JP, say this now. The distributor of The Boy in the Heron might be once a month bringing Studio Ghibli movies to IMAX. Anyway, look, right now, Friday is the release of The Boy in the Heron, and it is a must-see. You have the option of to see it dubbed, including by names of Robert Pattinson, Florence Pugh, etc., etc. It's a long list. <laughs> Willem Dafoe, or you can see it subtitled, which some people prefer. Either way, it's going to be a masterpiece. Original flow. Take your kids to see this. Hayao Miyazaki's works will make them better people and it will make your adults better people too, possibly. And also sometimes just heal the soul. Another look, however, again, is from Toshio Suzuki, the producer who shame has to fight with these creative people like Hayao <laughs> Miyazaki sometimes. Talking about just the tradition and the, the spirit that these are made in, because you might not realize that computers maybe make up 2% of this. The rest is hand-drawn and hand-painted. Have a look. ま、手書きで作ろうが、コンピューターで作ろうがね。なんて言うんだろう。あの、Oh, my word. Quick two points. Uh, so, uh, so, sorry, because my director just said you can rap, and I'm going, no, I'm not going to rap. Uh, so, uh, like similar to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, where you have these mixed frames and these mixed densities, uh, he beautifully sometimes, like I says, will do these flowing type things, and then with this heavy emotional moment, like frame rates will change, and it actually encourages you in this empathic moment, feeling yeah. that panic is happening, that despair is happening, and you're along in the ride with him. Uh, the other point, uh, man, Joe Hisaishi, that music. If you want to see a grown man sob on South African television, please play Ashitaka and Sun right
right now, Greg, our sound engineer. I'm, I'm playing warning it all morning, my You're, you're going to be listening to Joey Sayushi for the rest of the month, as long as you go watch The Boy in the Heron today. Oh, man, I would, I would really recommend uh, parents and kids watching this one together. There is something beautiful that you can both walk through together. The Boy in the Heron gets 10 The longer out we take, the less you've seen this. Let's go watch it. 10 out of 10 out today. <laughs> That sounds like Miyazaki magic, and if you want a different kind of magic, you come to the right place, and if you'll get breakfast show, I have two magicians who are ready to wow you, but first we need to chat, because magic is something that is a passion, it's a calling, and I think that these two have been called to it for good reason. It's a kind of magic, the show is back for season two, uh, bringing the same passion, tenacity, and drive to entertain audiences across the globe. That's how ambitious I am with regard to talking about this. We have two magicians, one of them is Sebastiano. You have to say it properly, otherwise it's not going to work. Plus, we have a multi-award winning magician, Anya, who is here as well. I just wanted to know from both of you, where's my watch? Ah, it's in your pocket. Take, take, just <laughs> thank, thank you so much. I wasn't wearing one. That's how good they are. Wow. How do you make something disappear that wasn't there in the first place? I mean, but Sebastiano, it's so nice to have you on the show today. Magic is part of you. In fact, I'm watching Sebastiano and I can see him playing with your ring. Yes. Just like you just want to do, you see, you just want to do certain things. You have a real passion and a love for magic. Where did it come from? Um, it was kind of like an interesting situation. Like I was, I was like living with my uncle and like I had this kind of room like under the stairs and I, one day I received this letter. So like your room did. under the stairs? Yeah. I know a movie like that. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's, sorry. That I, oh, yeah, that's the plot of Harry Potter. That's my, great. My dad. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, okay. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm uh, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's it's a passion that came from. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, I love how you catch it immediately. I'm it's sorry. Like, Wait man. a second. No, that's. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> Two points to Gryffindor. Yes. Continue. <laughs> no, it's a passion that that came honestly from the reaction that I see when I perform. Like you go to like if you go to like a concert, you have like people like dancing, maybe singing along. If yes. you go to like a comedy show, people will be laughing. But like when you go to a magic show, you get all sorts of like different reactions. Someone would be amazed. Someone will be laughing. Someone will be really mad. Yeah. Like some people get really upset. <laughs> yes. And some people, so they kind of find, especially adults, I noticed they find this like childhood sense of wonder that is honestly beautiful. And that's what kept me going with this like art form. It's truly yeah. astonishing what kind of reactions you get from the people. That's the thing about adults, man. We are too obsessed with rationality sometimes. I feel like at a magic show, I get to live a different type of life. I get mm -hmm. to live a life of wonder. And I think if you get a chance to live a moment like that, you, you need to take it. And that's why I love magic yeah. in that particular way. Yeah, um, Anya, awesome. from mm -hmm. your side, you are a multi-award winning magician. This is fantastic. But at the same time, you are a woman in the magic industry. And a lot of peers, friends of yours, I can only imagine, it's like, I mean, Anya, you could have done anything else. Like, why are you doing magic? How have you responded to those type of questions? Well, the way I like to describe it is doing magic is really no different from doing art, any kind of art, whether it be drama, music, yes. singing. It's just a way to express myself, and I just kind of try to explain to them that magic is just the way that I choose to express myself. It's what comes more naturally. Yes. And I've noticed that over the years, they've kind of come to accept it, but I know at the beginning yes. it was very... Uh, but, yeah, it's gotten better, and... That, that's that's a good thing, at least. That's fantastic. And I'm sure that you are enjoying the fact that it's it's a, an escape, a release, mm -hmm. an expression moment, which is always good as well. But there are some misconceptions about magic as well. So, so mm -hmm. a lot of people think that, ah, magicians, you, you are cut from a different type of cloth. Um, you have rabbits hidden below tables somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of those misconceptions. <laughs> we should address them now, you know, just... First, first thing, um, magicians, are you doing magic all the time? Like you go to a restaurant with some of your friends. In your mind, are you thinking, how do I make this glass disappear? Let's, let's <laughs> dump that misconception. Is it like that for you, Sebastian? Okay, I, I got to admit that like, if I leave the house without a deck of card, I feel like I'm missing. <laughs> I do feel like I'm missing like a piece of clothing or something. Okay. So that's, that's true, but at the same time, there are... Many moments where like people find out that I'm a magician and the first thing is like, oh, show us something. And yes. I'm like, ah, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel it right now. It's like, even like if you're a singer and like, oh, I'm a singer. Like, oh, sing us a song right now on the spot, a cappella like this. Why, I'm did, like, why ah. people like that? If you're a comedian, they're like, tell us a chap. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, Entertain me, clown. <laughs> like, <laughs> why, why would you be that way? Come on, I get it. It's, it's a magician's, you know, uh, curse. 
so yeah. to speak, which is one of those things. Mm -hmm. However, one thing that's a gift is having a show to showcase all the facets of magic. Because magic's not just linear, it's not just like one idea, right? There's the rabbit, go for it. There the cards, pick a card. There's a lot more to it as well. So Anya for It's a Kind of Magic in its second season. What can audiences expect? So I'm going to be forming my 20 minute set that I got invited to perform at the Magic Castle in Hollywood later this year as Sorry, well. Sorry, Hollywood? <laughs> yes. I just yeah. like, you, you going to Hollywood? Yes. Are you gonna meet Harry Potter? <laughs> like, just sorry, I just I had to, this is how people would do this, but congratulations. Thank you so much. That's amazing, you deserve that. Yeah, but you know what? I feel like now that you're going overseas with your talent, you're basically like the spring box. Like you should get your spring box colors and magic. <laughs> wow. I don't know if that's a thing. Maybe we can try and make it a Let's thing. Let's do it. Let's do it. We win everything anyway. It's fine. But so you go to the Magic Castle, which is wonderful. Congratulations on that. Thank you. So that's the 20-minute set you're going to be doing for audiences. Yes. Um, and I like to take my audiences on a journey. So I start with a little bit of history and I do a little bit of history and then I go into a little more audience work and then it's all just fun and I okay. want them to walk out of there and feel like they've rediscovered like that childlike wonder. Uh -huh. This is very good and for you Sebastiano what can we expect from you from the show? Um, well tonight specifically yes. the show for tonight is going to be fairly easy for me Yeah, yeah. because I don't just have Anya with me but I have two incredible performers as well they're gonna be tonight. So you, tonight you get like three great magician performing and Ooh. I just have to introduce them. So I'm, I'm feeling the pressure is off. I'll be like, they're amazing. I just have to, you know, bring them to the stage and let the magic happen. So for me, it's gonna be an easy job tonight. And there's a few tickets left, so. There are just, tickets left. Know. I've I've done actually the stalkers, the Galloway Theatre, Cape Town, of course, tickets available. It'll be at cricket.co.za. Go grab yours. That's only if you want a moment of wonder. You can escape to a world where you don't have to figure out where things come from. No. Leave the rationality and ideas at home. What you need to be is an audience member that needs to be wowed. I feel like that's how you become somebody that's at a magic show. Just sit back and be wowed. It's as simple as that. Like you're doing now on your feel good breakfast show. Uh, Anya's gonna be wowing you with a magic trick a little bit later. Uh, plus you're going to do a little magic with guessing a meal with our very special guest in the next couple of minutes. So make sure you stay right there. It is your feel-good breakfast show right here on S3. There are stories of dreamers, and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. Absa. It's my feel-good breakfast show.
welcome back. It's a kind of magic. We are here for all things magic, and especially when it comes into our studio right now, ready to perform an incredible card trick. Anya Stain is going to give us a taste of um, her award-winning magic this morning. I think you can see there's two fans here, okay? Big time. <laughs> Just I'm like, so wow. excited. All right. So I've actually stopped class for today. Yes, okay, thank you, Tisha. a special guest, and she's going to wow the students today with something special. Anya, the floor is yours. Take thank it you away. Thank you so Bob. much. Now, most of us are familiar with the concept of fate or chance, but do we really know what the real difference is? Okay. Now, the way I like to see it is the one is more predetermined. It's destined to happen, and there's no way it couldn't happen, but in that exact moment, in that exact way, at that exact time. Yes. Whereas the other one is more random. You are at the right place at the right time. Mm. But that's just how I see it. Okay. I'm going to ask you to make a very very important decision. Probably the most important decision you've ever had to make in your whole life. Cry. I'm about to, like, I've suffered implode. <laughs> yes. Do you yeah, want the red pill or the blue pill? Oh, my God, you're doing Matrix out. as well? Get out. I love this show. Please, okay. I'm kidding. I, Do you want the red deck or the blue deck? I would like the red. The red deck. Okay, we'll use the red deck. The blue one, we'll just put away like this. Would you mind just holding on to it? Just keep it safe. We'll get back to it. But we're going to use the red deck now. <laughs> they made me hold something. Sorry. What's inside it now? I don't know. It's a bird. Yes, sorry. We have some yeah, cards I'm over watching. here. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to just randomly select any card. Random meaning it's going to be unknown to you and unknown to me. Okay. And how we're going to do that is I'll do the cards one by one, face up like this on the table, and I want you to call stop wherever you want. Okay, cool. The card that is face down is going to be your card. Okay? All right. We already saw some of the cards, so we'll just yes, yes, give please. them a little bit of a mix. Oh, this is so exciting. She's giving us a little bit more credit than I think right? we deserve, but okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, so you say that whenever, okay, whenever... Yeah. Whenever you so want to call stop. to say it out loud? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I would like you to stop. One more? One more. There. There we go, stop there. Sure. Yes. This is the one. Yeah. You can feel it. Yes. Do you want one more? Okay, one more. So this one. Hold on. Feel it. No, you have no idea what just happened. <laughs> okay, no, one more. That one. Stop it! No, you what don't know what's happening. No, right you now, don't know what's dude. happening. Okay, sorry. That's okay, I'm a bit freaking out. This is so good. Okay, no, can I just tell you that the ace of spades is my first one, then you turned it over. Then the second of uh, the, the, the two of clubs is my the, the other one, and she turned it Literally. over. Literally. Okay, just okay. One more, please. Oh my word. So this one. I'm gonna go home. I'm going home. It's going, going on, yeah. I'm going home. Okay. Just... <laughs> Sorry. You, 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 you keep on picking the cards that I have in my head. <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. I don't even know if that's, that's part of the trick. Okay. That's the one. This is the one. You yes. sure? Yeah. Okay. Now, had you gone one more, you could have had the, the four of clubs. In fact, you could have had any of these cards but you chose to stop at that one specific card. Why is that? Did it just feel right? Did you feel like some external force was telling you to stop there, or do you think it was free will? I think it was Miyazaki. <laughs> uh, I think so. I, I, no, no, I just, I think it was just kind of, it was a gut feel, man. I just, yeah. you know, I thought about Hollywood, I thought about the Magic Castle. Okay. So I kind of felt it. came to you. Yeah. So for the first time, let's see what card you selected. The? Seven of clubs. Now, does this card mean anything to you? Maybe the number seven, the suit of clubs, or is it just a random card? Um, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I'd have to. I'm a creative mind, so I can make it meaningful to myself. <laughs> but seven of clubs just it kind of popped in. Now, the blue deck. You've been holding on to it this whole time. I haven't touched it since I gave it to you, right? Let's stop now. Gonna Am I going to still be standing? <laughs> is, it gonna, so. is it going to like, have a poof of... Okay, sorry. Do I... So I want you to... Let me move the table a little closer. I want you to open up the deck. I'm not going to touch it. I'll also just open up the little zip. Okay. And take out the deck. Okay, now things explode. Okay, you can, can take <sighs> out the deck. I don't want to touch it at all. Yes, thank you. You can just put it down wherever. Okay. Now just open up the deck. Okay, I will do that. I also feel like magical now, opening yeah, up. Oh, you are. You've been in. Now take out the cards, and I want you to spread them on the table face up, so with the pictures up. Okay, cool. 
Thank you, thank you so much, teacher. Okay, so do you want to spray with the pictures up? And you'll okay. see. Okay, cool. That and then you're spreading it, right? Yes, just spread it. You'll see that there's one card that's <laughs> face down. <laughs> no. No. Hey, there, that one here. No. This. Okay, I'm not going to touch it. I want you to turn it around and show everyone what that card is. I'm so excited. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm just going to lean on just you as... for a second. <laughs> By the way, if I get this right, you have to get tickets to the Galloway Theatre this evening. That's the only uh -huh. way I'm going to actually open. Galloway Theatre. Okay. Quick it. Go get your tickets. Here it comes. What is it? <laughs> the Seven of Clubs! That is absolutely amazing! Wow! Oh, this is great. There we go. Wow! Seven? Did you guys plan this beforehand? Yes. You were fuffling a little bit earlier. I could see you were busy nattering away. This is hey. great. Oh my word, this is amazing. Sorry. Are you going to be able to work for I don't the rest know. of today? Thank you. You've Sorry? changed my life. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to have to. Now, I leave you with one question. Do you think that was fate or that was chance? I feel like it, it felt like chance. No, it felt like fate. I'm going to walk away and think about it. I'm sorry. This I is think just, your this fate too right much. now is to embrace the fate of the world with the news. That is just a taste of what you will experience. Get your tickets now. Cricket is where you will find them. Anya, you are amazing, Thank girl. Thank you so you much. Are absolutely, and I'm sure this is the reaction you get from absolutely everybody, but soak it up. I still haven't quite figured it out. We're going to keep trying for the rest of the show. Anya's not going anywhere. That was mind-blowing. Is he still speechless? Let's find out. Well, I can't be. I have to do news. But yes, I am kind of speechless. Well, let's get into uh, the national headlines first. Now, the Western Cape Provincial Government has received 102,680 applications for Grade 1 and 8 for 2025. This is an increase of 5,936 on last year's on-time window when applications for 96,744 Grade 1 and eight learners were received. The admissions window closed on 12 April at midnight. Parents will still be able to capture late applications on the online system until 12 May, but they'll be flagged as late applications. Meanwhile, now that on-time applications have closed, schools will have about a month to consider all applications received. Now, the Gauteng Transport MEC, Kedebone Dialet Labela, says negotiations between the rival Soweto Taxi Associations, the Witwatersrand Taxi Association and the Nansfield Dube West Association are once again deadlocked. Negotiations between the two began last month following violent shooting incidents, not only resulting in fatalities among operators, but passengers as well. Feuds over routes between the two associations have been going on for years. Dialet Labela says both believe that the routes belong to them and that they're the owners. Now on to international news. China's foreign ministry has welcomed U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken's planned visit to the country amid rising tensions between the two countries over global trade, regional conflicts and the Russia-Ukraine war. Now Blinken will meet the senior Chinese officials on, among other matters, China's aid to Russia for the expansion of its defense industry and its aggressive actions against the Philippine Islands in South China Sea. U.S. President Joe Biden had earlier called for higher tariffs on Chinese metal products, but China said it would take steps to protect its interests. Now, Kenya's chief of the Defense Force, General Francis Ogola, has died in a helicopter crash in the west of the country. He was in the helicopter with 11 other military personnel, including a brigadier and a colonel. Uh, there were only two survivors. President William Ruto said it was a moment of great sadness for the country and described the general, Kenya's highest-ranking military officer, as a gallant officer who had died in the line of duty. The nation will observe a three-day period of mourning commencing today. And a new wildlife protection initiative at Alaska's second largest airport, Fairbanks, involves deploying a headless four-legged robot dubbed Aurora the size of a Labrador and camouflaged as a fox to deter migratory birds and other animals near runways. The robot's capabilities include climbing rocks and exhibiting dance-like movements with flashing green lights. During the upcoming mi migratory bird season, Aurora will mimic predator behavior to discourage birds and wildlife from congregating near the airport and scheduled to patrol the runway vicinity hourly. Previous strategies, including using drones with grape juice repellent or releasing pigs near landing areas, hoping they would eat waterfowl eggs. But now it's up to Aurora to prevent harmful encounters between planes and wildlife. On that note, that wraps up the news for now. Another update in one hour, but let's take a look at the sport. Here's Chi.
Um, Carl, I just want you to think about a certain CR7 who plays for a club that you really love. Maybe we're seeing the connections there, or at least Lorenzo Darry's our sports producer, nailed that one. Let's start with his report this morning, and we start with European football. Atalanta securing a spot in the Europa League semi-finals despite they won or lost to Liverpool last night, prevailing 3-1 on aggregate, and thus edging a little closer to their first ever European final. So despite a quick start from Liverpool with Mohamed Salah's early penalty, Atalanta held firm, denying the English side a remarkable comeback they now face uh, olympic de marseille in the semi-finals then staying with uh, footballing news starting from the upcoming season the football association has decided to eliminate fa cup replays from the first round onward in conjunction with the premier league's uh, current setup so the significant change is in response to the expanded uefa calendar we know that's where the big tv money is which necessitates a streamlined tournament schedule by consolidating all fa cup rounds to week Weekends, including the fifth round, logistical challenges and fixture congestion will be minimalized, ensuring a more efficient competition structure, I think, across all boards. Now let's turn to rugby and good news for the Bulls. Their flanker, Cameron Hanekom, has now been cleared to continue playing after a citing complaint against him was rejected by the EPCR disciplinary committee panel. So the incident in question involved a tip tackle on Northampton Saints Fraser Dingwall that was during their Champions League quarterfinal. And despite being cited for dangerous play, the panel deemed Hanukkah's actions did not merit that red card, thus allowing him to resume playing immediately and, most importantly, make him available for this weekend's very important URC match up against Munster. And it must be said, across all platforms, we've seen some amazing cricket over the last week. Some of the highest scores we've ever seen, in fact. But the IPL has lit up. And yesterday, Gerald Kutsia and Jasprit Bumrah, they starred as the Mumbai Indians clinched a thrilling nine-run victory over the Punjab Kings in their Indian encounter last night. So, opting to bowl first after winning the toss, the hosts saw Suryara Kumar Yadav's entertaining half-century propel the Indians to a competitive 192 for seven in their allotted 20 overs. Kutsia then stepped in with figures of 3 for 32 in four overs. Brummer claiming 3 for 21 in his four, then decimating the Punjab Kings' top order, setting up a commanding position for the team. It was a little bit of a shake, however. A remarkable fight back for saw the hosts almost snatch victory from the jaws of defeat before eventually being bundled out for 183. But a great competitive encounter. And that's where we leave our sport for now. Robbie Gillette will be stepping in to talk URC. It's back, baby. We'll chat about that in just a moment. Right now, uh, let's catch up on the roads. So if you are heading to work, let me start you off with some traffic in Edenvale, Johannesburg. Now, there's a stationary vehicle on the N3 northbound after Linksfield Road. One lane is closed and traffic is unfortunately slow moving, so maybe adjust your travel time. Then Midrand in Joburg as well. There's been a multi-vehicle accident on the N3 northbound before Mordersfontein Road. Uh, the left lane affected resulting in slow moving traffic. Please allow for some added travel time as well and maintain a safe following distance and be safe out there. Let's take a look at your weather. So let's start off with the water situation in and around Cape Town. It appears somewhat uh, rosier compared to last year. The Tiavatas Kloof Dam, the largest in the region, currently stands at 64% capacity, up from 56% at the same time last year. Overall, major dams in the area boast about 65% storage, a rise from 58% in 2023. The Western Cape government earlier promoted the installation of water tanks for rainwater harvesting and urged businesses and residents to explore additional water augmentation methods ahead of the approaching winter rains. This proactive approach is vital for enhancing water resilience, particularly as Cape Town relies heavily on surface water from key dams such as Tiavatuskloof, Vemersuk, Fuelflay, Steenbras and Berg River. Now let's take a look at a sunrise view. I love these because they add a bit of positivity to the show today. And this one was sent in by Kim from Wild Coast KZN. Now the thing is about KZN, it's almost unfair that every image we get from KZN looks like a holiday destination. Wowza. Kim, thank you. Uh, let's find out if there's another one. Maybe you can match that. 0634088863. Kim, please invite us over, man. This looks amazing. Uh, but if you are looking for some temperatures and what to wear today, I have all of those stacked for you across some zones. Let's take a look.
Now, what's going on? Worcester, Uppington, come on, guys. Let it go. Just let it go. No. 35 degrees. What's going on, man? They won't let it go. They won't. Um, well, just stay indoors for just a little bit longer <laughs> this morning and contemplate this. We want you to play Powerball and Powerball Plus. We really want you to play. Why? Eight million reasons why. That's the total estimated jackpot this Friday, and you could become a winner. Mzanzi's next multi-millionaire, in fact. Okay, so we want you to play, right? Yeah. You got to play. Uh -huh. Estimated five million rand. That's for Powerball. Powerball Plus is an estimated three million rand. But if you want to play, if you want to win, you got to know exactly how to do it. And here's how. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got to get tickets, and you can do them any which way you please. You can go in store. You can go online, nationallottery.co.za. You can use their mobile app. You can buy your tickets through your own cell phone banking app. Most of them have a little drop down there to make it really easy. Mm -hmm. And you get a little update that tells you what you've won. If you've won anything, it's amazing. Um, or you can simply dial star 120 star 7529 hash for all the USSD. Information overload, Come but on. don't worry, because our social media team have done the necessary, put all the details on Expresso's social media pages, so please go check them out and make sure you get yourself in the running by playing Powerball and Powerball Plus for 8 million rand in total estimated jackpots today. So Panda, Pusha, play. And good luck, man. I hope it's you. In fact, I have a feeling we are talking to that millionaire right now. Just believe it. Manifest it. You have to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you manifest better skin. No, the bottom line is professional-grade skincare is now more accessible. In fact, it's accessible to you and I, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. And then we obviously chat about URC. We have to bring in an expert, but that expert oh, is man. also an expert at guessing a meal. And this is why Robbie is here. Look at this man's face. He I mean, basically a model. And, and he eats, so he knows food as well. Yes. He, he gets it, man. I mean, you can't see it that. He's got good skin, good eating, but a good show. And that's why you have to stay there. It's your feel-good breakfast show. Don't fall victim to intestinal worms. Use kid-friendly Vermox twice a year. And get rid of unwanted guests. Vermox. Now, with an unmatched market presence since 1986, Dermalogica has been on a journey to create custom skincare solutions 
that work, proven, not just today, but for life. They offer a wide variety of incredible products and customizable services, as they know that no two skin conditions like people are ever going to be the same. Dermalogica's very proud global CEO, Aurelian Liss, is here to tell us how they are making professional grade skincare products and treatments more accessible. What is the power of this brand? Dermalogica is, is very different from other brands, which is, which is actually the, sort of the excitement about what we do. We started as an educational institute that taught how to do skin treatments. Wow. And we still do that to this day. So we teach 100,000 therapists a year. And once we started teaching, after about three, four years, we decided we needed products to go with the teaching. And then we created Dermalogica. And the reason we do this, the founder, Jane Werwand, had this idea, having lost her parents at a very young age, her mother told her, look, if you can do something with your hands, you will always be fine. And you'll always be able to control your own destiny. And so our vision for the business and for all, but really for the university and the, all the treatments we teach, is to empower these therapists, these professional skincare therapists, to be able to do great skin treatments and take care of their lives. Woolies? are now the perfect partner for this because they too have managed to find that balance of premium yet accessibility. 2021 is where this beautiful union first came about. Mm. Why were Woolies the right choice for you and how is the partnership going? I think the world's changing. I think yeah. it's time for treatments to be more visible, for treatments for a younger generation to get into treatments. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing better for skin health than four treatments a year. And those deep cleansing treatments, those repairing treatments, it, it's just taking care of yourself. So with Woolworths, we had an opportunity to do it in new places. We're, I think we're in about more than 20 locations at the moment. Brilliant. We go there always with a professional skincare therapist. So there's always somebody who's well-trained on the counter. And we do these wonderful services, like you know, the, a Pro Bright, an Express for 20 minutes. I think um, you know, I was looking at the menus yesterday. Uh, we always try to optimize our treatment menus. So I think it was about 300, uh, 329 wow. rand. And so it's, it's accessible, That's it's 20 incredible. minutes, and it does it well. My favorite product, the one I always travel with it is, is really... actually I've got it here, it is Daily Microfolient. This is a dry, this is what we're famous for. This is a dry powder um, exfoliator, works on all skin tones, uh, men and women. And it's, this is a 30-day supply. It's, I think it's 3.49. So uh, plus you can buy any installments. And you see, so this is powder. Ooh. It's messy, isn't it? See, this is so why I would use like that. your product so much. <laughs> when you can start having fun and play around like I, this. It's an, yeah, it's, it's right. It's an exfoliator without scratching. It's got, um, it's got brightening ingredients in it, which actually were inspired by some Japanese uh, rituals from many, many years ago. Innovation is at the core of what you do. In fact, it is what you do. You innovate. So what are we innovating in the future? What future products of the year oh. are on the way? Look, we've got, we just launched a wonderful product called Pro Collagen. Uh, it's a banking sis, a serum. Again, it's preventative. It's both plumping and preserving your collagen. And you know, a lot of people are thinking about repairing later, but this is a good way to keep the collagen healthy. Innovation is not only in, in products, it's also in treatments. And, and you know, Dermalogica actually, not to the consumer, but to the professional cells, for example, a microneedling pen, which enables that pro, uh, professional to do interesting treatments, uh, which are so sort of both stimulating for the collagen and resurfacing. My ambition is to get them out of the exclusive realm of just being in the really high-end yeah. medical salon and actually even bringing them to an event, maybe at Woolworths, or even to the permanent counter. Access professional-grade skincare products and treatment services, your own new family. Visit the Dermalogica booth in selected Woolworths stores right now to get an in-depth skin analysis and the right kind of skin treatment, or just to stock up on your favorite products. Make that connection, because it's a connection for life. Thanks a lot, G. Fascinating stuff. Love your top anyway. Let's play along in another round of Guess the Meal. Now, today we are playing the very, very special version. It is the dairy edition. Today's meals Ooh. are either made with dairy or served with dairy and are typically not suitable for those with lactose intolerance. But whilst we play, we'll be sipping on some clover, no lac, lactose-free milk because this magic will allow you to enjoy all of your favorite dairy dishes again. Give me a second. 
it's delicious, by the way. Now, I got some contenders, one of which I took away from skincare uh -huh. to sit down. The teacher, you got G over here. I've, I changed. I changed from PE teacher back to, to geography I teacher. I like how you are versatile. Mm. And then, of I course, one has to be in TV, yeah. Robbie, the one and only. All right, are never we, lonely. Are we competing? Yes, we are. Check it, coach over here. Uh, yeah, coach, coach, no, easy just, coach. Make sure. Easy coach. Okay. The winner, we've got to make sure. You've got a geography teacher and a PE teacher. And a winner. I mean, okay, it's good. either going to be a winner or two losers, dude. I have a feeling <laughs> it's goodness. going to be one of those kind of games. So, gentlemen, this is how it goes. I'm going to give right. you a blurred out pick of something. You just have to identify it. Remember, it's a dairy edition. Here it comes. First clue is that I am crunchy. What is this? Wow. I'm Robbie, jump in wow. here, man. Jump crunchy here. with milk cereal. Cereal. Oh. Uh, it, it looks like there are berries in there. What'd you uh, guess? Um, like, uh, <laughs> yogurt? I don't know, with muesli? Yeah, I'm going to say breakfast yeah. cereal. With yogurt with muesli. Let's find out what the answer is. Yes, Robbie, wow. you got one! Yes! That was Absolutely that wasn't amazing. Okay. Awesome. okay. Robbie's like your, got it. I like when I said it, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. But You didn't taste the no. wind. You just put the ball down and you kicked. <laughs> I wait. kicked, yeah. Boom. Did well it. Done, man. One no. Sure, Look at that. hey. Absolutely unbelievable. Come on, coach. Robbie with one. Now, next one is I'm a winter comfort. Hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. Hot chocolate comes in with G. Be, what do you think, be. Robbie? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. G said it first. Here's your answer. Hot chocolate. Well done, G. Point for you. Point for Oh, no. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. I like nice. this. Well done. It's getting spicy now, but let's continue. I'm what happens when you combine two magical ingredients. Are, you speaking, are you speaking about yourself that's now, correct. or was that a clue? No, but that's also a clue <laughs> okay. for this. Oh, All wow. Right. Two Apple magical crumble. two magical ingredients. What do you think? Um, ooh. An omelet. No. Uh, uh, um, ooh. That's come on, Robbie. Shot. Just two. Um a pie. No. Not uh, a not a milk tart. That can't be just two ingredients. I don't know the answer, but I could uh, guess that one if I were to go. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, it Some looks like macaroni and cheese to me. Anyway, let's see what it is. Okay. Macaroni, cheese. <laughs> can I get a point? <laughs> you can get a point. Can I get a point? Thank you so much. Damn, they don't man. give me the answers. They just tell me to, you know, ask these two. Right. Okay. I don't know. It's magic, you know. You, you <laughs> have been imbued with the magic this morning, I, I think. That's what's indeed. actually happened. That's right. It's mostly because of my cheesiness. But anyway, <laughs> let's go for the next one. Crack me open to indulge. Oh, uh, creme brulee. Well done. Gee. Oh, my word. I feel like um, that's good. Yeah, straight it's away. It's been grown up. Straight away. It's a grown up dessert. It is. <laughs> okay, trash talks in. I like this. Let's move on. Here's the next Student one. Student teacher over here is backing up in the big <laughs> I'm a spicy favorite. It's uh, go. Butter chicken, no, surely. But go for it, bro. Butter chicken. I, that butter chicken, okay. Butter chicken, are we? The answer is sure. butter chicken, Robin! Yes, yes. <laughs> Come on. Absolutely. Hey, it's close to the weekend. Someone's <laughs> hungry, bro. <laughs> that was wow. That was, that that was, was, good. That was quick. Good. That was well quick. done, dude. Okay. okay. Next okay. one is I'm on all dessert menus. Ah, uh, uh, this has got to be cheesecake, yeah. Robbie said it I first. Ah, uh, you did. Well done. Am I right there? Yeah. Yes! You know what? You were one point ahead of me. There. <laughs> just just like one, one step. Point. So and now, one point. let's go for this one. It's sure. the final one. The finals. Last okay. kick of the game. Everyone loves me. Ooh, chocolate ice cream. Mousse. Ice cream. You said chocolate mousse, you said ice cream. Yeah. Let's find out the answer. And the last point goes to Graham Richards! Of course, ice cream. It was well always going to be ice cream. Yeah, it Damn was, it. man. <laughs> just trust your instincts, young <laughs> man. Hey? This is great. Uh, can oh, we all just have a cheers. sip? Cheers to you, Cheers. Well done, coach. Happy to compete. Yes. Eyes. The ref was brilliant. Eyes, yeah. The ref oh. was brilliant in this match. Thank That's you. Right. Get me here we go. Yeah. Nice little sip here. Mm. Oh, and it tastes really good, it's, eh? It's mm. delicious. That's isn't really it? nice. That's the vibe, man. Now, mm. if you love and miss all of those dairy dishes because you are lactose intolerant, then switch to Clover Nolak so you can enjoy all of your favorite dairy dishes again. And we'd love to hear from you. What is your favorite creamy dish or drink? Connect with us online and let us know. You know that... and say hello to delicious freedom with Nolax range of lactose-free milk and yogurt. Be free with lactose-free. You're still on your Feel Good Breakfast show, my love, where we are still giving you everything you need to get your weekend started off. And we're coming to you live from the Samsung showroom at Design Quarter in Johannesburg. And this morning, we are not only going to be chatting to Robbie Gillett, who's going to be chatting all things the United Rugby Championship, but we're also going to be getting to hear the superstar that is Jumelo ZA. Okay, I'm singing so that I hope he...
kills me and puts me on his next EP, you know what I mean? He's gonna be performing Mnike, the song that has broken records, it is award-winning, and it is now nominated four times at the Metro FM Music Awards for 2024. My friend, trust me, you do not want to go anywhere. Right here on your field, but good breakfast show, forgive me, is where you belong. <laughs> It's my feel-good breakfast show. All right, bit of a hiatus. It's back. Round 14 of the United Rugby Championship is here, and SA franchises will be looking to secure the best possible positions on the log as we move towards the business end, the Sharks. They will be the first team to take the field when they meet the Glasgow Warriors, high-riding Warriors, in Scotland tonight. Uh, well, three matches will play out in South Africa tomorrow. We've got the Lions hosting Leinster. Maybe they can do us a favour in Johannesburg. Then the Bulls will lock horns with Munster in Pretoria. The Stormers welcome the Ospreys to Cape Town. Some sure. tough draws in there. Sure, we. That's why we had to bring in the man himself, a sports podcaster. He loves his rugby games as well. He even commentates on them, which I also love He's about phenomenal. that. It's phenomenal. <laughs> it really is. We've got the one and only, somebody with no lack of talent. His name <laughs> is Robbie Gillett, a.k.a. Gillette, the best a man can get. Hello, Robbie. Hello, how are you? Liquor. Liquor. Uh, we've heard that you are, eh? The best man can get it. That's what they say. It's that's not what they my say. Words, yeah. It's everyone else's yes, words. It is. Right across Europe, they, they humble, say though. such things. Um, <laughs> the um, world. It's not, it's not limited. <laughs> <laughs> but he, the Sharks. Is this the best we can get from the Sharks? Um, Definitely a turnaround. Can we say that at least? For sure. That things have changed within the camp. What's, what's shifted there, do you reckon? I think possibly a mindset. Um, if yep. you look at, so they start the UFC, start terribly, uh, but now they identify, cool, we can end well, we can win a win a Challenge Cup, uh, and you win a Challenge Cup, yep. the, in all likelihood it's going to be one of the, the, the big, better chances an African team have to win a trophy. If, if we look away, at yeah. it uh, with that shark side, I mean, this weekend I think they even play in a rotated squad, and I think they'll focus on that. That, that, that silverware. So I think just a shift in mindset, with, which was let's focus on champ, uh, Challenge Cup uh, and then build momentum from take, there. Take a bit of pressure of the bigger picture pressure off yeah. themselves. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that, Jim. Well, we, we see the Bulls' dominance. It's like it's, it's, it's hectic at the moment for any yeah. team to go up against them. Now they've got Munster, who mm. are going to be very determined to, to try to break them down. They've got such a great run at the moment. So how do you think that particular match will play out? Because this is one of the, the sort of showstoppers that I'm looking forward to for the weekend as well. I think the Bulls will struggle a little bit yeah. uh, with all that travel. They did rest their players. Uh -huh. um, but again, to go to Loftus and win at altitude, uh, you see that sign when they walk out, it matters. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think, yeah, I think uh, if they stick to their, their, that upfront, uh, that physicality, that aerial battle that they're so good at, yeah. with Moody and their outside backs, I think they've got to, they, they're going to come away with it. But it'll be tight. I think four points. What? what? Ooh, four points. Um, yeah, and I mean, they've been pushed and tested, and their, their B team literally had yeah. to, to yeah. kind of stand up. Some of the, the travel debacle behind the scenes. Yeah. 
Jake White must be thinking like he's got someone against him in the in the <laughs> upper echelons, but they, they seem to be coming right, which is awesome. The Stormers at home, absolutely amazing. They Ooh. got tested. I think it was, was um, Ulster that kind of pushed them, yep. but it's going to be difficult for them to be beaten at home. What do we know about this Osprey side? Where are they in their kind of season? What can the Stormers expect? I think pretty, yeah, I mean, when the Stormers have struggled, they've struggled when, when teams have uh, managed to disrupt their, their play. Uh, so I think like if they can get, if Ospreys can get stuck into the Stormers set piece, uh, slow their ball down. You look at that, I think it was the Edinburgh and Ulster game. It was mm, just yeah. like, it was a complete nightmare to watch as a fan because they didn't get any momentum. I think when the Stormers get momentum early, that's when they're dangerous. Like, you know, yeah. Arnie Libok gets his uh, confidence straight away. Yeah. And that, that's when teams struggle. So I think if they can manage to disrupt, I, I think Stormers are going to cruise it. To be honest, 21 points. Um, but yo, if 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 Ospreys can get it right, they can get a. Would this maybe be chance. a game to give Sasha a chance to start at oh, 10 oh, and not at centre? On. Sorry, I'm just putting yeah, it I out there, I man. But but just seeing as he's been kind of touted as the incumbent kind of Springbok fly half, maybe he needs a bit more time at fly half. Yes, it, it, it no. wouldn't be a bad uh, yeah, game to do it. But I also think Remus Stormers want to chase some momentum now. I want to get yeah. a, um, a bonus point and. Uh, I mean, look, I'm not saying that he couldn't do it, but Mwani is sort of guy you want in good form into the into the knockout, so I think Yeah, and, and I think Mwani with ball in hand at the moment is special. I think yeah. he's got something special How's there. the yeah. wind? I'm just asking for a just, friend. I just, just don't know what the wind is corner. like. Is it okay in Cape Town? I was just asking. That was, I think, the strongest wind Cape Town has ever experienced <laughs> last time out. So we ridiculous. get it, man. We uh, get it, it was. So I just wanted to know what the wind prediction is. But it's okay. We don't uh, need those wind, predictions. Man. We'll get some others from Robbie in a second. But Lions Leinster, let's not forget that yes. one as well. This yeah. is going to be a biggie because yeah. I'm sure, you know, Leinster is just formidable. Monster. How are the Lions going to do against a team like this? They're going to win by three points. Wow. Is that Leinster side, remember, they, they're in semi-final of Europe. Um, oh, okay. And they're top of the log. That, that top top of the log is secured. So I think they're going to bring down um, uh, an academy, so, not an academy, sort of a B team. For Although sure. their B team so good. But yes. the Lions are so good as well. They're like this Lions side has a little bit of my heart, I must be honest. So okay. if they can come right, it's also at altitude. It's tough to go play at, at, at in, the, in the Lions' den there. So uh, I think I think Lions are going to do it. It's my bold prediction for the week. Uh, and I agree with you. I can remember being um, in their stadium when it was a crunch game. This was years ago, but yep. it was when the Lions brought themselves back into contention. Yes. And I'll never forget the tea lady being on the side of the field. That's how much it mattered to this yeah. franchise. Yeah. Every single employee was on the side of that field cheering that team on. When you've got magic like that, you maybe don't need the star players. Yeah. You need that kind of cohesive nature. Absolutely amazing, dude. Um, enjoy Ooh. it. Oh, I'm going to focus on that three points now. Come on, no, Lions. Like I get it right. You can if do I anyone get a, a favour. 21 points for the Stormers. That yeah. was crazy. I know. But fortune favours the brave. 100% oh. man, <laughs> best a man can wow, get so. indeed. You've earned your butter chicken this weekend, mm. bro. You've earned it. I think it, I have, man. I think I have. <laughs> well, I mean, let's head to Joburg. I know Rob, Robbie said this, so yeah, the Lions have a bit of his heart. Okay, that's fine. But of course, Joburg has a bit of our heart because Zanella is there. Big, big piece. It's true. Oh my goodness, because a bit of my heart is in Cape Town. Guys, I love you. And Expresso family, we love you as well, because we know you're ready for the weekend, aren't you? So we want to take you over the edge, okay, in terms of being 100% ready. And this is why we brought Miller ZA in the building. Four-time Metro FM Music Awards nominated artist, as well as award-winning, actually. And Tumela, congratulations again. I'm so proud of you. So let's jump into the real stuff now. Yeah, we know yeah, you're yeah. here to chat to us, but you also want our votes, Tumela. Be honest. Be yeah, honest. please, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's so, talk about it. How can we vote for you? Also, you need to like dial star 120, star 45787, hash. Even on my socials, I posted underscore dumelo.zere. So you can go like, yeah, check it out, man. And do the thing. Yeah. I love it. Beautiful. Do the right thing, Expresso family, because this superstar, he deserves it along with Tyler ICU. With that being said, one of the biggest songs to ever come out of South Africa. Yes, I'm saying it with my chest. Everybody, please give it up for Tumelo ZA. It's time for everybody. Tumelo ZA in the building. And listen properly, he is an absolute talent. Only 20 years old and already what? Award winning, nominated. Don't forget to vote for him for the Metro FM Music Awards happening on the 27th. 7th of April in Bombilla Stadium, my lovely. The beautiful thing is that he's not going anywhere. However, we're also not going anywhere because, Carl, I hear we got a whole lot coming up. What's up, man? We do. Of course, there's more music coming up. So Nick Soul a little bit later. But then we have this gentleman, Chef Clem, over here that's going to tell you that an egg is not just an egg. If you listen carefully, it sounds like, you may take our lives, but you'll never take our freedom. It's a scotch egg. 
So that's coming up later. You should stay there. Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show Express. We're here on S3, and yes, we've got game, and game's got you. As the end of the month approaches, we could all do with some extra spending money. And with that in mind, how does the chance to win a 2,000 Rand game store shopping voucher sound? It must sound so good. So simply reply to the competition post on the Expresso social media pages and answer one simple question. That is, what is one item on your wish list you check with game stores price Beat promise. And don't forget to add the hashtag got game and you can be the lucky winner. Simple. Mm, you really could. But now, if you're not sure how exactly game's price beat promise works, we're going to break it down for you right now. So have you ever spotted a cheaper price for the same product at a competitor on the day of your purchase? That can be kind of grinding, yeah? Um, well, bring their leaflet to game on that day and they'll beat it. Boom. What? Simple as that. I actually right? have an item in mind, but just make sure it's valid on the same day. It's very important what G said, and of your, your price beat request, it's important. So same day. And if you do need to know more, you can head on over to game.co.za on how to redeem your price beat online. Mm -hmm. And then you can get refunded the difference you paid plus an extra 10%, giving you even more bang for your buck with every shop. And they will stick to this. Put them to the test, man. So there's a TV. Oh. Okay, because uh, my TV in my lounge has got some like sun damage or something. Oh, that's awful, man. So now I realize that it's becoming a little bit like sort a problem. Of, yeah. the lights dimming. So I need a new TV. And that one is about a 43 inch. So I need to kind of. You've got to, you've got to move forward in life. That's you can't correct. move backwards. So if I find a 43 inch somewhere, I'm going to, you know, obviously just go to game and see if I can do a price do beat. Thing, but yeah, that's and why 43? I mean, you've got to go move 50? forward. You can go 50. You're allowed to. I could go, could do. see, 50 for a man of my stature is basically IMAX. <laughs> it's, it's called immersive TV. Oh, you missed the gaming <laughs> monitor yesterday. Oh, man, you would have been lost. Oh, um, the bottom word. line is all of us have that one thing that we are hankering after, and chances are you will find it at a lower price at game. And if not, well, they'll just simply beat it on the day. So get ready to dive into the excitement of scoring the lowest prices. And you've got until Tuesday, the 30th of April, to enter for this particular competition. And I mean, who knows? The 2000 and game store shopping spree could just be yours. And it's a click away. So T's and C's can be found on expressoshow.com.
Now prices are beaten, let's beat an egg. Well, we're not going to beat it, we're going to make a scotch egg, aren't we? Hello, Chef Clem, good morning. I, I'm good, how are you? The liquor, man, it's I good mean, to you. I mean, you didn't ask me how I am. I was just thinking, no, we are going to beat an egg. Yes. Yeah. We're going to yeah. make it, an egg that was normal, we're going to beat it with something better. Exactly. Oh, so that's great, let's it, do it. It's going to take me back to, 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 to the year 1990, I can't remember. Yes, it was 1873. And I'm going to explain why this dish is so important to me. Please. But first, do you want to talk to the people? I would love to talk to people. I like talking as well. It's one of those things I do. So let's get ready and do a substitution because you're going to be working on this side. Okay, let's go. Shh. Substitution. Now, we're going to do this together with Chef Clem, but naturally, we've got to break it down for you. Now, over the years, Woolworths has established a formula that actually works. In fact, most of their formulas work anyway. They understand that by working closely with their suppliers, they're able to provide their customers customers with only the best quality products. So here to dish up a certain recipe with one of Willie's exceptional quality free range eggs produced locally at the farm near you is the man himself that I just introduced, Chef Clem. So let's talk about this. And you know, obviously in terms of quality, we have to look at all the produce and, and why it is there. I mean, Willie's eggs, mm. um, straight up, okay? Hashtag, hashtag no endorsement. You know, you I know. only do Woolies eggs. Okay. So, I only do Woolies eggs. I only do, I'm it's sorry. Like, I, I don't I, recognize any other, none, I none. actually do, okay. I, I can only, it's free range. Yes. And I feel like that promise is there. Yeah, always local, never yes. imported. Um, the stamp on there is so helpful as well, because if you're keeping um, eggs in the fridge, which a lot of people yep. do, and that's perfectly fine, even in a chat about how to store eggs, if you're keeping it in the fridge, it's nice to have the date in there to know What's for, what's due to there. go out first versus the the latest items eggs that came into your fridge is yeah. also very helpful, and it, it's just Woolies. I just know the sustainability is there. I know that what we're doing, it's farming for the future. It's all there. It's in a box. Done. It's and, amazing. And that's on my counter all the time. I mean, that's what I do, and obviously in the fridge too. But today we have to use the quality and mm -hmm. expand it a bit with a recipe. And this is this is this is a, a good one. This is also a, one that I think has always intrigued me because I've never made a scotch egg. Okay. I've never given okay. it a shot. All right. So take me through this. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I honestly, I think I don't know what the year was, but I was nine years old. Okay. Here's me, nine years old. Nine. And at um, a, a new school. Yes. And it was their school carnival. And I'm like, what is this thing that I've never seen before in my life? And it was a scotch egg. So here's the, me with probably like a two round fifty, bought the thing, yeah. a little bit of mustard on it, ate it. My, my, so I've eaten a scotch egg. I've never made one myself. That's the thing. But that, I mean, to only find it also at the age of nine, crazy. So found out, found out about it, started making it. Then I entered a food competition as a grown up. Okay. All right. It, I entered this dish. Okay, no, not not the specific and you one. Won. A scotch egg, and I won. Yeah, of course you did. And you know what the funny thing is? From that from that competition, I ended up getting a job at Taste, and then Woolworths, and then yeah, and today. So I'm not saying this dish is the reason no, for I, it no, all. I'm saying it. Then but, let me say it. But it's a, it's a good dish. Okay, so chicken mince goes in. Now you can obviously traditionally use sausage mince. Ch I just feel like it, they 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 chicken mince the eggs. Put it well, together. You can do that because you can do uckle cheese with this because you've won something based on the scotch egg that you've made. Go. So I completely understand. There we go. So you've got salt that went in. Pepper that's going you've got in. Pepper that goes in. We've got in. a little bit of thyme going in, a little bit of Italian seasoning. We've got some paprika going in. There's a little bit of cane pepper mixed with that. We've got okay. some garlic powder going in. Okay. okay so it's very savory. So I'm going to pass this to you. Ask you to give it a mix for me. Have you wow. got a mixer thing? I'm going to give you a mixer thing. Give me a mixer thing, man. There you go. Thank you. So now the eggs, right? Right. How do you boil your eggs? Uh, how do I, you mean timing? Like, like, so first of all, do oh. you have a method for boiling your I, eggs? I, so I have, actually, I have an egg boiler at home, so that's a lazy way. So I just put them in and it beeps when it's done. It's a consistent way. It is a consistent, it's a consistent way, way. But I, I actually did my eggs um, in a kettle yesterday. Can be done. Yeah. So and then what I, happened to the, to the kettle afterwards? The, how do you like... Just the, what do you mean? How, like... Nothing broke? Nothing broke? No, I'm good. It's just worry. extra calcium in the water. It, no, 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 it's just fantastic. It's fantastic. And I actually used the water afterwards. You but can. But I used it to water the plants. I was going to say, when you boil your eggs at home, you're supposed to keep, keep the water, cool it down, use it on your plants, because it gets nutrient-rich. That's exactly why I do that. Come on now, you Call see? Waste for Come the win. on, Chef Clem, you okay. know me, bro. So I got my water in the pot boiling, I added a little bit of vinegar to the water. Yes. The reason for that is if the egg yolks, or if egg yolks, if the egg does crack and some of the whites come out, that vinegar is going to solidify the, the whites really quickly. Yes. Okay, so get that in there. Another thing is if you don't want your eggs to crack, you should take it out the fridge, if they do live in the fridge, take it out the fridge like ahead of time. Yeah. It's that reaction between being very cold and then very hot that causes the crack. So if you can get it close to room temperature, you'll be better off. I've done an air fryer egg too. How was that? It was. It actually did work, which is great. Uh, egg boiler, I'd say pro tip, make sure there's a little hole in the top of the egg. 
Okay. So that the pressure doesn't build too much and yeah. open up. Yeah. So I can imagine the, the cleanup. Oh, the cleanup no. is not fun. Also, then. can we talk to <laughs> not public fun. service announcements? Um, I want to say you it should be illegal to cook eggs in the microwave in the office. In the office. Are you you give those that? one guy, that Ian. Ian will come in in the morning, make his scrambled eggs in the microwave. It's going to be an Ian. How do we know that he's making scrambled eggs? Because the whole floor smells like it. So no, boiled eggs are the win. You can do this at home. Keep it in the fridge. They actually last for like days in the fridge. They say this fish, is the one. fish and eggs don't do it at the office. I love a tuna salad in the office just to like irritate people. But now I understand I won't do it anymore. Hey, hey why not? OK, cool. So um, Tiffany's going to come in soon with our boiled eggs. I let my eggs go for about six minutes, which means I still have a little bit of a runny yolk. Great. OK, if you want a hard boiled egg, totally go for like 10, 12 minutes. I prefer the jammy, the jammy eggs. I looks. like, uh, right. yes, it's got to have that gooey center for me. Yes. So that's why the, the eggs are like that. This is why I hit five minutes for my eggs. Yeah. Yes, five minutes is a good one. Because remember, you are, gonna, you are going to fry it again. That's so, okay, correct. we're waiting for Tiffany to come in. No pressure, Tiffany. No pressure, Tiffany. No pressure, Tiffany. Don't okay, worry, Tiff. While you and I are doing, okay, yeah, I'm going to break a, I'm gonna break up a piece of plastic, right? Here comes Tiffany. Talk to Tiffany. Come yes. in, Tiffany. Talk to Tiffany. Come in, uh, Tiffany. Thank you so much. Sure. Oh, is that our eggs? Oh, there comes Tiffany. Yes. Oh, just. Thank you. Oh, are you did you bring us one egg? It took you yeah. 10 minutes. Don't lie. Yo, Tiffany's a Yo. one egg wonder. Okay, wow, one egg. Okay, this, this is going to be the best egg ever. Okay, so plastic wrap, and I'm going to use this to kind of, uh, just to help shape the mints around All the right. egg. Okay, so Carl Wasty, can you get a little ball of of the filling for me? So, I'm going to just do a little bit, uh, a little one of these, okay? Oh, is, is that enough? I hope it's enough. This Is that enough? Uh, it's, we're going to make it enough. Okay, cool. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to, while I'm doing this, can I ask you to get the panko? in there, and then uh, egg in, yeah, scramble for me, please. Okay. okay. So we got our mint, and I use the plastic wrap. It makes life a little easier. Thank you. And yeah. I use the same piece of plastic for all the eggs that I make. So I'm using it, like, Great. multiple times. Great. The yo the egg, ooh, that's a nice soft egg. Okay, it's so a good one. Yeah. Yeah, you can always tell there's, like, a little, yeah, there's a okay, little so seat back there. Definitely... And then you want a scrambled one. Oui, thank you, yes, yes. That's going to help be the glue that's to top the flour. Can I grab one there. of these, though, while, okay. I'm, while I'm here? So, I'm Mr. Wasty, mince is down. Yes. The egg is in there. There we go. Perfect. So instead of getting mints all over your hands, th that's where the plastic wrap helps. Okay. Okay, cool. How's it going there? There we go. Amazing. Egg, egg, egg. Egg. Then flour. Okay. Make sure my oil's on. It is. This is an important step. This is how you get the crust to properly stick to the egg. So you're yep. going to go flour. Yep. Okay. Get a bit of dryness. Should we season this. We season everything. Season, thank you. Sorry. There we go. Yes, yes, thank yes. Thank you very much. It's okay, cool. Season. From the flower. Can you take my wedding ring for me, Canala, please? Thank okay, you. No problem. I don't. There we go. That's like the opposite. Sorry, it used to tell me. No one even asked, so but you but you felt it's okay. I do hurt my feeling. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so flour, <laughs> egg. Okay? Yes. Then make sure that you really get the egg on every little spot. Sometimes the flower likes to act like hydrophobic in a sense, like it rejects the egg. Go for it. You just keep on. You see, we're using big words. Hydrophobic. Hydrophobic. Okay, cool. Pay From attention. here, we go. Listen properly. Panko. But now you see, this sand is wet. Yes. It's gonna stay wet. This sand is dry. Oh, well We're done. gonna keep it dry. Okay, so we don't end up with like crummy fingers at the end. That's correct. So get the crumb all over the scotch egg. You could do a double dip if you wanted to. I'm double not gonna dip. do that now. Double dip would work, but I, I, I get you. We go back into the egg, back yes. into the panko. There we go. Okay, careful. Oil, get it ready. Do a yep. little test. How's that oil looking? It's sizzling. Carefully okay. get it into the wall. And do it, do it, do it. Let me hear that. And here it goes. Into the I oil, want to see into this the oil. Work. Very quickly, record time. Call Wasty. In front of you, you have smoked paprika, Dijon mustard, honey, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar in your bowl mm. is olive oil. And now you've used your whisk. I'm going to find your whisk. I have. I will, I'll use a spoon. Use That's a fine. spoon. So, what do we okay. do? Can we just go in? Everything. Yes, everything. Everything. So I like serving a bit of a mustard dressing Let's with go. the scotch egg. Comes out beautifully. It's delicious. Here we go. Okay, I, I hear footsteps. Go. Happy footsteps. I wonder. Okay, it's coming in. Yeah. Happy footsteps. Do you want to come in? What do you What do you know about scotch eggs? That's Scottish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they speak with a funny accent. I don't know. They, they, <laughs> how do they speak? Uh, with a Scottish accent, I don't know. Right. Um, I, um, I I know they are um, obviously been around for a very very uh -huh. long time, okay. And they must be sort of soft. The the yolk needs to be nice and soft on the inside. Then you know uh -huh. you've, you've absolutely yes. nailed it. Beyond that, I have no idea. Okay. I, okay. That's what I'm. Same thing. Got to be a bit soft on the inside. Yeah. A little bit of flavour, the dressing. So you want to find those nice and golden oh, and brown. Yes. I want to just make sure oh, that this mince. 
that the mint on the inside is also cooked. In the meantime, can I can you bring forward the plate to show what the end result's supposed to be like while this is busy that frying? That is spectacular. I also feel like if if Ryle was a dish, yeah. he would be oh, this my. dish. Because he's protein inside protein, and then the he's brown on the outside. It's the three so, protein, protein, and protein. Bro protein. So, protein. so, absolutely amazing. Also, imagine Ralph climbing the mountain as yes. he does every day. Yeah. Every day. And then, and, his eggs out. And then he gets hungry. Yes. He, what's he gonna do? You know he has his pancakes in the mountain. Bye. Give him, give him one of these. He'll put his hand in his pocket. Bye. And well, he's, got two, two. he's got two pockets. One for him, one, one for his girlfriend, Mal. Bye. Oh, Convenient. Goodness. Tell and me, shares, tell me. Tell right, one so with his you finish that. Well. Remember, if you want this recipe, taste.co.za. I guarantee you it might not be as entertaining as this whole thing that's happened today, but yeah. you know what? Give it a <laughs> shot. It Actually, maybe be. even film yourself doing it and send it to us. 063 408 8863 and make a scotch egg. We will Let's play go. that video. We will you, play that video. Put your money where your mouth is. No, I'm not. Come no, on, I'm dude. not. Hold on. Stephanie made this one egg. Tiffany? Okay, are we tasting this thing? Oh, you know you know who loves tasting things in the morning, Graham? I, I, really, I could see food. the... Look, it's going to be really hot. And I should have cooked it for maybe like another 30 seconds. I'm not going to give you food poisoning today. Okay, no, it's all maybe right. next week, but it's not right. today. I want you to have an amazing <laughs> weekend. I've got some for you. Let's have a little look-see. Yeah, so tell me what's gone into this incredible sauce okay. that you've made, Mr. Westy. It's gone into everything. Spectacular. Just, and there's all sorts of uh, vinegar and honey and paprika and oil, and it was amazing. That's how it goes. And Is that a piece of speck form on there? You know what? We, we needed a garnish, and I was like, it needs some green. I just cut the bush right here. <laughs> you boom. literally cut the speck put, form and put it on there. Is it not South African? And is it not is edible? It, you could even I make a pesto out animal? of that speck boom, I've heard. Speck yeah? boom pesto can, is a vibe. Okay. okay, what are we going to go for here? So grab a grab a bit. Uh, well, in, you grab it, get some sauce uh, on uh, it. I want a little bit of this guy. But honestly, this is a protein-packed breakfast. Oh, lunch, Coffee. dinner. Yeah. You think it at room temperature is amazing? Give me some of that love there, man. Oh, give me just a bit of that love. Drizzle. There we go. There we go. Drizzle. Okay, drizzle. Okay, you ready? Let's Three, go for two, two one. one. Go. Mmm, is it good? Crunchy, mm -hmm. crunchy, a little spicy on the inside. Mm. Egg, doing egg things. Yo, yo, doing yo. big things. Mm. It's good, people, I'm telling you. Scotch eggs, they're coming back, 2024. Yeah. And that sauce is special, eh? That little effort there the is magical. The wasty dressing. Mm. That's, right. That's right. Have you ever seen a wasty dressing? This you have to pay to, for that. It's going straight to my wasty. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. I'm going to have another half. Go yeah. and check out the recipe in the latest issue of Taste Magazine. It's under my stories. Can I get my wedding ring back also, by the way? And then if you also want to find this recipe, not in Taste Magazine, go to check it out on wooers.co.za. These guys are going to keep on eating. Don't oh. forget to shop all the ingredients in store, online, and on the Willys app. I do. I do, I do too. <laughs> I do. <laughs> There are stories of creators, and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. ABSA. It's my feel-good work.
Uh, welcome back. As we kickstart a very important discussion, especially if you're a business owner, no matter how big or small the space that you play in. In today's economy, many of us are having to work harder to earn a living. Bottom line. Yep. And whether you've been running a business for some time or you're an entrepreneur that's just starting out taking those first few brave steps, you may need to resolve a business disagreement along the line. Chances are it's going to happen. And the company's tribunal is a world-class um, adjudicatory and dispute resolution organization that contributes to the promotion of fair and ethical business practices throughout South Africa. And here to tell us a little bit more about their incredible work is their chairperson, Judge Dennis Davis. Judge, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. No scotch eggs to offer you just oh, yet. So really? Sorry. Why not? We're, we're warming them up. They're on the way. They're, they're, they're on the way. So mingy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Judge, permission to approach the bench. I yeah. would like to ask you about the organization <laughs> yeah. and, and what it is that you you do it, it practically well the company's tribunal was set up because if you're going to be a company yes and you want to go to court it's going to cost you a hell of a lot of money correct so the idea was to have a statutory body which was going to allow people to sort of resolve all sorts of disputes with regard to the companies in other words was a director's dispute or alternatively you have a name for your company yes and some of the company says, but it's the same name. You borrowed it from someone. Now, how, how on earth do you deal with that? So those are sort of issues whereby, for very little money, small businesses in particular can approach our tribunal and have their disputes resolved. Wow. Um, and these these kind of disputes can be game-ending for a lot of small companies. So, sure. Um, yep. it, it's a massive gateway that I'm sure has killed many small businesses before they've even gotten up and running. Um, do you need to have legal representation when we enter into your space? No, thank goodness not. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> Coming from you, that means not a, a bad lot, idea so. not to have lawyers there. <laughs> but the answer is no. Uh, you can come on your own. Look, if you've got a really complicated thing, it's not such a bad idea to have a lawyer because the papers that yes. are drafted are often very confusing if they're drafted by a layperson. But there's no reason why lay people can't approach the tribunal on their own, and they do. And hence why the tribunal is comprised of lawmakers and those that have walked well, this path. Well, that's the point. You're supposed to have experienced people who are actually going to be doing the thing. But if you think about it, it costs an enormous amount yeah. to get a lawyer to go to court. It bankrupts a small company with... Yeah, with dead ease. in the water, yeah. Absolutely right. Well, let's look at the recourse available to any company if they're not happy with a decision. Is there any such thing? Well, in our case, if you go to us, you can take it, what's called on review, to the yes. court, which is different to an appeal, meaning... Did we do it properly oh, okay. and is it reasonable and so on and so forth? I'm not going to go into all the technicalities. But it's a big difference between going to a court yes. and then finding, as we all know, that people then appeal the decision mm. and it goes on forever. And then it stops, yeah. Right. Yeah. So one of the benefits then for, for seeking a speedy resolution, it, it strikes me that when we go to court, it speaks to a line in the sand and it's the past. Yeah. The way that you resolve issues is very much about moving forward, about empowering and hopefully keeping some partnerships because we need to work. We can't work in isolation. But in your mind, what are some of the real benefits for us taking a dispute to you guys as opposed to going the legal Well, route? firstly, there's the process of mediation, which is exactly what I think you're talking about, yeah. which is if you get into a courtroom, you're on the one side, you're on the other side. Exactly. The adversarial basis of the relationship is you're going to never repair that. Yes. So firstly, there's a mediation, which means one tries to actually mediate between two parties and says, for goodness sake, you know, let's stop being in an adversarial position. You guys have got to work together in the future, so let's solve it. We don't need to get divorced. Yeah. We yeah. Do this. Well, that's the most costly thing of all, as we all know. <laughs> so, so that's the first part. Secondly, if you're going to have to go to what's called adjudication, where you can't mediate and therefore you have to make a decision, the big difference is it's a much more informal process. It's speedier. You get there very quickly. Within two, three weeks, you can be in the tribunal. Wow. Hopefully, within two, three weeks, you can be out of the tribunal. Brilliant. Now, if you take a court, it takes forever. You try and go to any high court in the country, you're going to wait six months, nine months, a year. Then you've got to get the decision, then somebody appeals. And before you know it, you haven't got a resolution to your dispute, and it's cost you an arm and a leg. Completely. Yeah. Are you, when a company is watching uh, our conversation and is thinking, okay, how do I approach the tribunal? There's got to be platforms for more information. I think that sometimes these resources are available, but they seem quite inaccessible. So yeah. how do we contact you? Well, presumably, <laughs> I'm the most, uh, what's a technologically idiotic human being, <laughs> but by and large, you, there's, 
<laughs> there, 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 is, there is a website. Oh, great. <laughs> if you simply Google Cup East Trophy, you will get there within a minute. Well, That's you fantastic. want the quarterback to be thinking about quarterback things. Yeah, and, that's, and not my, that's not my shit. I was going to send you a fax. I was just <laughs> saying. Well, that yeah, that's works. a very wonderful old fashioned way. In fact, my pager number hasn't changed. I think we can, we can deal with that. Yeah. Um, in your experience, because yeah. there is a reason why that you, you've taken the sleep and you're leading the charge in this space. Why did we need this? Why in a South African context, why do you think this is so important? Because, well, firstly, because the idea was, I'll tell you where it all comes from. Uh, many people know the competition uh, authorities. So in other words, the competition commission and tribunal worked really very well. Okay. Instead of having a straight court system, you had people who built up expertise in an area. Mm -hmm. yes. And that meant, in other words, you, you worried about your price of scotch eggs, so you rush off to the competition <laughs> commission. <laughs> and they will sort you out. So the idea was, could we not do the same within companies? In other words, instead of having all th the whole stuff about going to court, you have specialist people in a tribunal, paid for by the state, therefore it's all cheap, expeditious, etc. That was the reason. It was a parallel system to the success of the competition Brilliant. arena. Yeah, that was wow. Thank you this for doing this. Thank you. Oh, it's really, it's, it's fantastic. And of course, we're going to have to the website as well, which is indeed, it's uh, companiestribunal.org.za. Have you ever been to the <laughs> website? <laughs> have you Don't? been to the website before? Yes, I have. No, have you I seen can, your I face? Can type in, I can't, yes, I okay, can't. Okay, great. Yeah. Do you still say www. <laughs> Oh, this I'm going to get thrown out of court in just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Judge, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. Of course, thank uh, you for having it's me. Any time. And it, it's great that there is a platform for you. If you are looking for an organization to uh, assist in settling a business dispute, the tribunal exercises its functions in accordance with the Act and, of course, performs its functions fairly, without fear, favor, or prejudice in a transparent manner, which is very, very important as well. Mm -hmm. So you can visit companies tribunal dot org.za and it's the www <laughs> um, and you can get in touch and find out more it's about empowerment without a doubt so if you need their help go and lean on them Oh man, the vibes are vibing and the weekend is about to weekend and I'm so glad we get to do it together, Expresso family. And let me give you a reason to stick around, right? Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you two. First and foremost, we're going to be catching up with Nick Soul, who is, of course, an award-winning actor and musician. Someone that if you don't know him just yet, trust me, you want to know him because he is doing the things that need to be done. But also on the way, you've heard of maize meal, you've heard of poachers, right? But then, in them being croquets, I'm intrigued. And I want to know more. And the only way that you can know more is by making sure that you stay tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast show. We still got so much more on the way and we're going to be having a good time. All in the name of making your Friday exactly what it needs to be.
It's my feel good worthy show. The show it is feel good. Exactly. And this is why you're tuned into S3. And we're so glad you are. Because this morning, my friend, I told you, if you don't know him just yet, then ha, we're about to do you a favor, okay? This morning, we're hanging out with an absolute king. We know him as SAVC family because we know him from Skim Sum, from Sierra Delan, and currently our generation's the legacy. He did winning. And this is why we tell you, my friend, he is a superstar indeed. I am talking about none other than Nicholas Nkuna, a.k.a. Nick So. Thank you. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming through, Thank Nick. You. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh -huh. A bit exhausted, tired. Of course. Got to be entertaining the country. Do you know I what know. I mean? Oh, yeah. 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 But you're good. I'm very good. Thank you. And that's what matters because we need our people who entertain us too, you know? Be good. Yes, ma'am. And especially because, you know what? You're someone who takes your craft so seriously and you've got a theater background. Yes. So, yes, you took this to television and you're absolutely flying, Nick, which is incredible. But, Thank you. you know, where did your theater background actually come from and how did you get into it? I got into it when I started musical theater at TUT. Mm -hmm. um, and then right after that, I did shows like Phantom, The Lion King. In fact, I yeah. thought that my career was going to be theater all the way. Oh, wow. But because of COVID and also just like the South African theater, you know, industry. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, just a tad slow. That sort of, tr tr it drove me to do television. Yeah. Because there wasn't so much access in theater in this country. Really? Yeah. I mean, I feel like you were already killing it because at the age of 22, yeah. you were in the cast, rather, in The Phantom yeah. of the Opera. Yes, ma'am. And now, my brother, you know, <laughs> making waves. Like, tell me how that specific opportunity came about. Uh, I was just auditioning for it. And I remember I, I was in a taxi, uh -huh. a 15 seater, <laughs> to Monte Cassino, which is not far, you yes. know? Yes. And, uh, and I remember I had a, a bit of a sweat break in that audition. I was, I was yeah. like, oh my God, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Mm -hmm. But uh, they called me and they said, we want to, of my agent was like, uh, no, we didn't expect that. But yeah, I'm, the, I'm still the only black phantom in Africa. Y you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I'm still the only, yeah. Shout out to you, Nick. You. I'm very, very proud of you. Yeah. And I feel like, you know what, you're someone who takes excellence very seriously. Yeah. And that's why you continue to just do the great things yeah. that you do. And speaking of which, you also apparently speak Afrikaans excellently. Can I go a biki, you know, fatal? I can Afrikaans part a biki. I can Afrikaans my Can I tell you how untrue that is? Ha uh -uh. Everyone is shocked. No, because I remember uh, the casting, um, actually the acting coach was saying, yes. what you're doing is so impossible because I cannot speak the language, <gasps> don't understand the language. <gasps> we could just like take it from, from scripts and translations. <gasps> so when they say action, I must be like, oh yeah, I understand what you're saying. I feel <laughs> deceived. Oh, I my know, goodness. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> and now that the show is closed, I can speak this truth. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know I don't know if this is an exclusive I love the so language, say. but I don't understand <laughs> it. <laughs> Nick, oh At my all. goodness. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I can yo uh, Afrikaans. Okay. Ish. Okay, I'm bad. Never mind. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak it either. But that's incredible. Yeah, that's, so that's then, how did that opportunity come about? Because I mean, you can't speak Afrikaans. So how did Sierra Delan say, "Hey, Nick, come through"? I think it's probably the grace. Uh, they were just looking for a doctor. Oh. Uh, the doctor who's gonna eventually marry uh, this beautiful white woman in this sort of cosmo world that we yes. live in. So he had to translate. You know. Sure. But also, they just gave her the most darkest African. Yeah, they could find <laughs> Yeah, I was like, okay. The, <laughs> but, you know, I think it's just the grace. If you translate, yeah. you know, and it's your moment, it's your moment. Amen. So you have to take it and I love the that the grace and the favor, yeah. my babes, it surpasses everything. Yeah. All protocol will be broken. Oh, 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 oh amen. <laughs> <laughs> but now yeah. you have done it again because yeah. you're part of Generations of the yeah. Legacy. And um, apparently, you're friends with Mfundi Vundlane. Huh, I, uh, no, guys. No, I, just, <laughs> I know. I just want you to fuck up for me and see please because you know maybe i can come and be your i don't know what your sister on the show yeah i've met him he's we, such an incredible guy yeah. no no we should we should yeah. sort of do something you know what i mean yeah. so a storyline we'll speak to you Mfundi. it's fine uh, talk to us about your new role there uh anato bofu oh man yes. what, a, what a crazy drive what a crazy drive journalist and in, uh, investigative he seeks the truth all the time yeah it's never been enough in his family doesn't like his brother, his brother doesn't like him. Mm. He slept with his brother's wife while they were married. All of that is, just, <laughs> you know, the, 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 all the deep things that happen on Generations. But he's one of the most fascinating characters yes. I enjoy. Going to work for him is like, yay! Oh, you I know, love that. Every single day. Does he challenge you? Oh, absolutely. Oh, come on. Yeah, one of those greatest. I, I'm not going to work, I'm just going to play. I love that. Yeah. And that's what they say acting yeah. is at the end of the day. You go play yeah. with your fellow castmates. Yes, ma'am. But then now, of course, uh, you're multifaceted. You know, you're not just an award-winning actor. You're also a musician. When are we getting music, Nick Soul? What's going on? What I can say now is that the album is titled Timeless. Ooh! And guys, it is the most incredible work you'll hear. Aww. It is, it's taken me 
four or five years yeah. after the summer nomination. That Zonke won. Zonke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, love you, Zonke, Zonke. Over here. I love you, Zonke. <laughs> you, you, I, I look up to you. We probably should do something soon. <laughs> but Timeless is incredible. It's got the likes of some people I can't mention because we're still discussing it. But Tembisil and Daka from Adila. Mm. People are so ready for your voice. And I can't wait because you've been away for so long. Yeah. It is the most African thing you'll ever hear, the most uh, hearty thing you'll ever hear. Come on. And, and sonically incredible. I love Africa. Africa is to the world now. Thank Amen. you, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler, we love you. And Tyler, thank you we for love you. Everybody paving the way, but yeah. I think I'm at the age yeah. where art for me is the most important thing. Come on. You know, and, and I, I want to tell young people out there, if you make music, it's not only about this, which we love, but please keep making your music. We should yes. talk soon. Yes, yeah. I love that. Come yeah. on. And Nick, yeah. so I love that you said that as well, because yeah. it is everything that encompasses what music is. We yeah. all have a space. Yes, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So now let's go to this, because I feel like 2024 is already looking up for you. What else can we expect? I'm just focusing more on myself right now. Mm. I'm turning 36 soon. I don't hide my age. Yes. Um, and also just really what Afrojam, my company, is going to do in the television space we're working on, the theater space we're working on. Mm -hmm. uh, there's like literally 20% theater in this country. And I don't know what happened since COVID. Yeah. But all of us as pioneers of this industry, we should try and reel back of what it is. So if you do see me or you do see my socials, please uh, just yeah send something. Let's try and work. Let's try and give you an opportunity where we can. I love that. So yeah. then where can people get hold of you? As in, like, you know, is there something on your socials? Can we DM you since you're saying, you know, let's yeah, you get can. hold of it's you? It's Nixol World everywhere. I'm the only Nixol World in Africa. Come so on. try and just DM, DM us and then we'll see. If the opportunity arises, then we'll talk from there. You're actually the only Nixol World in the world because there is no other you. Yes, You know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. There's only one you, are right, <laughs> Nixol. I like you. I like you. Incredibly. Oh, but you, yes. you're incredible. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but Nick, congratulations on yeah. everything that yeah. you have just achieved up until this point and we genuinely can't wait to see you grow some more yeah thank you so much thank you his name is nick Sol, everybody and honestly i feel like we can continue to just watch him rise because he is somebody who is on a mission to do the right thing which is 100 percent living in his purpose you're still tuned into your feel good breakfast show make sure you do not go anywhere Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are cooking up something mouth-watering. It is pilchard croquettes done just a little bit differently with some majorly affordable staples like maize meal and tin pilchards from game stores. This recipe packs a nutritional punch, a flavor punch, um, great for the palates and also really good for the wallets. And Gabs is here to take us through it. So we're going to swap workstations um, because it, there's a bit of a production line. There is a bit here, of a production like. line. Yeah, I but like that a lot. But it's super easy to be fair. I mean, once you've cooked your maize, it's like... You put yeah. in the, the, the elbow grease yeah. for, for your maize meal. So maybe that's where we start. Yes, yeah? exactly. So I'm going to throw, I've got some boiling water here. I'm going to throw our maize meal inside. And it's literally just a case of stir, stir, stir. Work, work, work. Yeah, and, and look, a lot of people stuff. have their own like keys to elevating it. A yes. few little things, maybe the introduction of a little bit of butter, all those sorts of things, all good Listen, for this. every tiny will have a recipe about exactly. how like, how their maize meal is the best because they turn it clockwise seven times. <laughs> and things. I just throw it in a pot and I stir it until the clumps are out. Okay, that's exactly. Just... <laughs> um, and then when you know, you know, a bit of an experiment, but you get to the point. And what sort of consistency are we wanting with our maize meal? Bearing in mind, we've got to kind of work with it. So we it. want it's it to be, be that like, like, like we've got it here. So we've got it ready made already, which is which is great. And it's quite stiff, but it's still a, a, enough to work with so we can exactly. create our little croquettes. So I'm just actually going to leave that there. You can let that, that guy do its thing for now. Do yeah. Because we already have one, which is great. Ta-da. Um, and now once we have it ready, it's literally just a case of taking out our pilters and tomato sauce. We've got some cheese. We've got some spring onion. I've got our cerebral salt and pepper. Add a bit of that for your seasoning. Mix that all together which I'll show you now how we do, how easy it is. Um, I love that. But, and, and you are getting a very high value protein that's inexpensive. And I think there's a reason why pilchards have been a firm favorite for as long as they have, yes. because they do offer incredible value for money. Yes, um, but we often don't get as creative as we could with something like a pilchard. And here you've got something that's got its own beautiful tomato sauce that exactly. comes with it. Um, in fact, this is a flavor profile that, that um, runs in your genes, yes? When you know. we talk about tunnies and nonnas and nanas, this yes. is something maybe um, that, that kind of takes you back a little bit. It's got a real nostalgic vibe for me. Um, what's the emotional bind for you here? 
So it was actually quite funny that you bring up Nana because I was on the phone with my mom last night telling her what time I was going to be on. And she said, you know, whenever I see um, pilters, especially in the tomato sauce, it reminds me of your Nana because she loves them. So I think this is a recipe. It she'll is for really your like. Nana. Well, well, let's see um, if we can get Nana some, some really good deals at the moment. Because if we hit game, um, you can get your tin pilchards, obviously a versatile pantry staple that can be used to create so many meals. We've seen it on the show, but these deals are non-perishable. Food items make a big difference nutritious affordable and it really does stretch the randella so let's get into the deal 155 grams of lucky star pulchards in hot chili definitely my favorite or tomato sauce any three for just 38 rand brilliant then let's move on to our next deal two and a half kilograms of white star super maize meal three for just a hundred rand incredible and then our next deal 175 grams of the cerebos salt and pepper combo pack and that's two for 80 rand that is incredible so it's more than one meal for under 200 rand brilliant 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 deals valid up until the 30th of april in store and online absolutely brilliant okay so um, can I do something here? Can I be the fish ball, the, the <laughs> yes, croquette please. roller? Yes, <laughs> please. Yes, please. Um, so basically now what you're going to do is take a handful of that. Okay. You are going to dust in a little bit of flour, put a little bit of it, uh, dunk in a bit of egg, and then you're going to toss it in your breadcrumbs. Okay, I'm looking for kind of like a size profile. So you've got the cheese inside, which is yes, going to... Yes, which is going to melt really nicely, especially when you fry it, which is great. Goes. Whoopsie. And, um, and when you can put one there for me, because we've actually got our oil is on, and then I can just show a quick little fried what it looks like vibe okay so we've um, got the first we've got that it's actually looking and then in the egg in the egg it's like your your standard kind of uh fried coating your crusting vibe. Yes. vibe yeah uh, okay, that's looking good and then once from the egg into our into your breadcrumbs our yeah. breadcrumbs yay so go, yeah friend. and then yeah what's really nice to serve these with is either just a really good squeeze of lemon mm. um which i quite enjoy alternatively like a nice tomato Get sauce or a lemon aioli thank you so much so just so that looks beautiful thank you yeah it's, it's actually a lot easier you're absolutely on the money this is such a simple way of combining such a beautiful kind of flavor profile yes, together love it okay there we go so yeah now i've literally just put it in our oil just until it gets that light brown coating. Because obviously your, your fish is already cooked, you know, so you kind of just want it to get mm. to that stage of like, your cheese is nice and malted. It's got a nice golden brown color, super quick and easy. I mean, you're looking at about a minute to two minutes. It's almost more to just let the flavors kind of activate and start Absolutely. Um, working together because you really don't need to cook it. For too much, so, I mean, yeah. look, I mean, this is already basically done. I mean, it looks oh, good wow. to me. Oh, that I'm actually gonna look. I'm actually gonna take that out already. Albeit my, my shaping's a little bit rustic, but it's it okay. kind of adds to the flavor. Artisanal. Yeah, artisanal. I like There that. is a different word you one. can use as well. What is it? Rustic. <laughs> rustic is Not the... vintage. There's another one. <laughs> I've gone so blank. There's another like... You can say amateur is probably the best. <laughs> I would never. I would never. Um, well, I suppose this gives you more crispy corners and little looks and crannies to get crunchy. Yeah. So that's okay. Is it a donut? It. Is it a cricket? <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> is it a chili bite, hey? Um, yeah, yeah. But it's worth having a, a kind of crumb vibe like this yes. down because you do you can do so many cool things. And you get your friends involved. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Production line. Delegate. Um, absolutely. We like that. I'm actually going to wash my hands. Um, I've got an interesting mix of flavors going on today between the scotch eggs and our oh. pilchard croquettes. Um, with something like this do you want hot oil kind of medium hot, oil hot hot hot, hot you want oil. it to be, you want the oil to be hot okay. um and also i think if you don't want to do the oil vibe i don't see why you can't line like an air fryer and actually do this in the air fryer as For well sure. if, you, if you want to keep it leaner and you don't want to dunk it in oil you can still get that I, I, I would just yeah line an air fryer with some baking paper or foil and and you get lots of little air fryer on. baskets and things like oh, that yeah. now they've made it a lot easier so go and check it out and then obviously we are already have our ready-made ones, which you can see all of them. And of course, Tiff and our, our, our foodie team made brilliant examples oh, there. Um, but I think this is cool, man. Like I said, there's more crunch involved yes. there. Um, really good. I think what really hits home for me here is how inexpensive a beautiful yes, meal like this can be. You can stretch out those randellas. Some amazing deals at game. But if you want to get your hands on this particular mouth-watering recipe, you can visit expressoshow.com. And as a nice little added bonus, you also stand the chance of winning 2,000 rands courtesy of games they're gonna game are gonna send you a shopping voucher so you can have a little bit of fun simply reply to the competition post on the expresso social media pages and tell us this 
what is one item you are that's on your wish list that you'd go and do your check with game stores price beat promise is there that one thing that you are desperately lusting after don't forget to hashtag got game and that competition will close on tuesday the 30th of april that's next tuesday at midnight but you can find the t's and c's on expressoshow.com and always remember store opening hours at game monday to friday from nine until six saturday from nine until five and sunday and public holidays from nine until four most importantly, if you're gonna cook this for yourself, please send us pictures. We wanna see if your balls can be more spectacularly round than my plastic efforts. <laughs> no, we're never gonna say it again. <laughs> um, but these Friday. are amazing. Your, your croquettes are next level, Gabs. Well done. Thank you. I mean, it's your balls there that you rolled too nicely for us, so thank you. Uh, uh, almost perfect. <laughs>Coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast show, we've got a lot of things for you, including a fantastic pan pesto gnocchi recipe. It's a sheet pan, by the way, you're gonna love it. And then as I hike toward this lovely TV on your Feel Good Breakfast show, we've got the hiking gear that you need and all the latest little innovations that'll actually make sure that your hiking journey is fantastic. So stay with us, don't take a hike, stay here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. I'm heading off. Sorry, what? Come in here. Drained? Dehydrated? You have lost more than just fluid. Recover faster. Add Rehydrate, SA's number one oral electrolyte mixture. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso here on S3. And next time somebody tells you to take a hike, take it as a compliment. Because adventurers, you are in luck. This morning, we're chatting about the ultimate companion for your wildest adventures, crafted with durable materials and designed for maximum comfort. This backpack you're about to see offers unparalleled durability uh, to withstand rugged terrain and unpredictable weather. Now, this morning, we are joined by the mastermind, Pierre Pinar, a Cape Union Mart technical product specialist who is going to be taking us through the all-new K-Way Kilimanjaro 36-litre hiking pack. Pierre, first and foremost, good to see you again. Are you well, sir? I'm fantastic. Thank you for the great opportunity to present our latest and greatest pinnacle in the K-Way brand. I'm so excited about this bag and I wouldn't really do it justice if, yeah. I, if I don't go a little bit into the history. You so have the, to. Yeah, the first Cape Union K-Way Kilimanjaro backpack was uh, designed early in about 2002. We've uh, made uh, increments, uh, increment in improvements over the years and um, about two years ago our buyer PJ approached me and he said, Pierre, if I could add anything I wanted to, to this backpack and not consider budget as an option, yes. what would I do? So I went to a few of the hiking clubs, I went to a few of the Cape Unimart staff members and I gave them a three-page document. We took that three-page document to our genius designer Iska and she turned it into a 38-page design document. 
So we sent it to our uh, manufacturer. They sent us the first sample. They made it. They sent us the sample. I tested it and we sent it back. And we changed it again. So they sent us the second sample. I tested it and we said, okay, not quite perfect because this one needs to be the best of the best. So we sent it back. And this is the third and final, the ultimate. After two years of development, we brought you the K-Way Kilimanjaro Expedition Series wow. 36 liter day pack. I had had the privilege, it was on my back earlier. For some reason, it's light, it's comfortable. And I can tell that there's another little innovation in here, and that is with the padding and the ventilation. Because naturally, a larger 36-litre hiking pack, you have a lot more gear, mm. which means a lot more gear means a lot more heat is exchanged between you and the friction of your body to pack pack. How have you been able to mitigate some of these? What type of innovations have you added? You remember your old school bag when you get home from school and there's this big wet the patch, patch on the back yes. of your back? We don't want that on a hike because excessive heat makes you tired. So we've, yeah. uh, can I take it off here? Yes, you may. Sorry, I've yeah. actually, this is what I... Demonstration my time. Thank you. So if you've worn <laughs> a, a, an uncomfortable backpack before, yes. those days are over. We've added as much padding as we possibly could to this bag. And you can see all of the padding on the waist belt, massive padding on the shoulder straps. Lower and then back. the really important oh, ventilation. Man. Air vent so that air can pass through here keeps the body cool, keeps you comfortable, and keeps you confident. And the great thing about that is that the way you've designed is that as I move, this thing is opening up constantly, offering bouts of wind to come through and ventilation, which means you're cooling down your back. Exactly. Uh, less strain on the lower back because of the padding too. And you know, lower back and hiking, they're not friends. Exactly. Not if you're not experienced enough. So Talking about movement, we've yes, also please. added a pivoting waist belt. So as you're lifting your head, climbing up large steps, the bag stays stable on your back and the waist belt actually pivots. And that is such an essential part. And you see there's an indentation here that sits on the hip bone, secure, keeps the bag stable, yes. and it mustn't be an, a, a separate entity on your back, it must be part of your body. And that might, just makes it so much easier on the ascent and descent. So tell me about more of the technology added to the innovation of this particular bag. Not only that, because I love that concept, you're right, because if a bag is moving around too often, your body has to stabilize, which yes. causes fatigue on some of the supporting muscles. So yes. we don't want that. But what are the other technologies? So quite cool is that we've made the padding come across the waist belt. I don't know if you can see there on the screen. So uh, across the shoulder strap so that there's no, nothing that pushes against the shoulder. Uh. And then on the shoulder strap as well, we've added these stretch mesh pockets. That's where you can put the soft flask like we know from many of the running vests. Yes. Uh, soft flask or anything that you need to access quickly. I like uh, putting my boltong in there or a camera yeah. <laughs> or anything, in, anything like that. The uh, adjustable sternum strap so that you obviously don't have any nipple rash or pressure where a lady doesn't need it or yes. want it. And then a very important, a high pitched whistle on the sternum strap. Was that so a whistle? You can call for help when needed. Hopefully you don't need it. Very important. That is so cool. There Sorry, are three pockets. <laughs> All right. So the main compartment at the top is, is, is where you will carry the majority of your gear, but the main compartment is accessible from the top and from the bottom. There's a separate compartment here where you can keep your smalls and then a tiny compartment in the front where you can keep your uh, quick accessible things and then a big, generous stretch mesh pouch here that's where I'll generally keep my rain jacket so that uh -huh. it's easy access when when the weather does turn very important to us was the uh, rain cover which is included with a very large and reflective very luminous yes for, for any problem with regard to emergencies Correct. you will be seen by emergency services and the reflective logo so that if lights behind you come up from behind you then yep. the people can see you um, I do need to mention the very spacious uh, bot uh, bottle holder on both sides so that it can fit an Nalgene bottle or any size bottle that you want to put in there. I've tested it. I could put my leg in there, so that's fine. <laughs> I can almost um, fit you so in here okay. if, if I could. And to me, the best invention in backpacks since the invention of backpacks is the waist belt pouch. A very good friend of mine calls that his Caramello Bear pouch, and that's where he keeps his Caramello Bears. But when we that developed this... I insisted that it needs to be big enough to hold your everyday essential. 
So the waist belt pouch is big enough to hold your phone. Okay. But if you keep it in your pocket, it gets damaged and, and, and it gets sweat on and all things like that. So that's one of the cool things that I made, made sure was there. And hydration is key. The backpack is hydration compatible, so the hydration system goes in there. Brilliant. Hydration system not included. We understand that many of our customers already have a bladder or yes. hydration system. And if we have it included, it will obviously increase the price quite considerably. This is great. Congratulations. I need to say uh, congratulations. Just in terms of, I'd like to have it back, please, because I love this thing. Uh, but just in terms, uh, just a quick one. Customers that have used this before, yeah. what are some of the comments that come your way? Ah, uh, fantastic. So uh, according to the sales records over the last two months, we've all already sold a few hundred of them. Wow. It's predecessor. There are thousands of them out there. Even the original ones, I've seen them on the trail. They're still surviving. And the feedback comfort is key they just love the comfort yes. it's not excessively heavy and if you add a, a lot of excessive weight in there for whatever reason lots of food or you're carrying your mom's food as well then that extra padding just makes a massive difference so thank you customers for buying this bag and i know you're going to love it if you don't have one yet i love it already in fact i can't stop wearing it to be fair <laughs> so what better way to be connected with adventure than with cape union mart and go ahead and go grab yourself this K-Way Kilimanjaro 36-liter hiking back, uh, backpack. And, of course, this bag is so much more uh, than can be found. And if you want to check this out, a little accessories, maybe a bladder as well, go to capeunionmart.co.za. Or step in store, I would suggest to step in store and try one of these on. It is like an item that you don't want to stop wearing. To be fair, I might actually leave this on till the rest uh, of the, well, for the rest of the show. It's going to be fantastic. But, Pierre, once again, well done for all these innovations. I'm going to take a hike. Love it, a backpack that allows you to be seen by Google Earth. We are here for that. We are also here for this kind of opportunity. There's a reason why we are going crazy over Powerball and Powerball Plus today. There is 8 million rand in total estimated jackpots up for grabs this Friday, and it could be yours. You could be Mzanzi's next multi-millionaire, but you've got to get in the running. So you can play your Powerball for an estimated 5 million, and then Powerball Plus for an estimated 3 million rand. But if you want to win, you have to play. So how do you do that? Let's make it as simple as possible. You can get your tickets in store. You can go to nationallottery.co.za. That's their website. You can go to their mobile app. You can buy your tickets through your own cell phone bank banking app or you can simply dial star 120 star 7529 hash for all the USSD and don't worry we'll keep all of those details up on our pages the Expresso social media platform so you can go and check them out at your leisure just pick your numbers and do it just to enter put yourself in the running by playing Powerball and Powerball Plus for that 8 million rand in estimated jackpots today Panda Pusha play and good luck do it, my love. You deserve to win because why? You're part of our family and more than anything else, you're just a good human and you're a South African. I think that as Mzantians, we deserve good things. For now, though, we still have good things on the way right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. So let me first and foremost tell you, right? Hiking gear in winter. Mm -hmm. What's it looking like for this season, I suppose? We're going to be letting you in on that in a little bit. And then we are also going to be getting into another recipe. I am talking about sheet pan pesto gnocchi. It is something that sounds very yummy, but I'm super excited for us to learn about it because I'm just like, this sounds like comfort food to me, especially for these cold temperatures that are going to be coming up soon enough, yeah? All of that is on the way in a little bit. Do not go anywhere. You're on S3.
It's my feel good birthday show. Welcome back. Um, it's been a crazy show today. Thank you so much for being a part of this crazy journey. But here's the bottom line. You can become a part of that journey on a whole different level if you plug into the opportunity of Tropica Island of Treasure. Mm -hmm. Let's set the scene. Our own Zanella Potelwa is going to be the hostess with the mostess on Tropica Island of Treasure with an unmatched lineup of celebrities that you could be partnering with. I'm talking the likes of Chad Jones and Darby Nokeri, Carl Kugelman, Nkobile Kwesi, Hungani and Glovo, Umutle Gela, Bobby Fun Yasfeld, hashtag beat Bobby. I mean, come on. It's like the Avengers of celebrities. It really is. Wow. <laughs> it's a marvel to behold. And I do know that the auditions have been going well so far. In fact, let's Brilliant. take a look at some of them. Morning. You don't need morning coffee to start your day. You need Tropica. Hi, I'm Izzy. I'm an actor. And the reason why Tropica should choose me, choose Tropica, Zanzibar. Who else? Izzy, of course, there. So, the whole reason, me, so guys, time is ticking. I'm about to pack my bags now. Hello, my name is Marijke Beseidenhout. I am 29 years old and I am super excited to be from Tropica Island of Treasure, Zanzibar, to be part of the TVS. Jokes, this is just my audition. I know I'm the right person for this kind of challenge. I love pushing myself to try new things. I'm really passionate about sports and fitness and just trying out new ways to move my body. As a professional ballroom dancer, I had to learn to work and thrive in a team dynamic. So, Trafika, if you give me the chance, I know I can prove that I have the passion, the drive and the courage to face this challenge head on. My name is Nosi Pontombela. I am 23 years of age and I reside in the beautiful coastal city of Durban. The reason why I deserve to be on the Tropica Island of Treasure in Zanzibar is because I am strong-willed, I'm courageous, I'm a team player, I'm very analytical and I'm physically and mentally ready for every and any challenge that comes my way. I'm even super excited that I've already packed my stuff. I got my sunscreen and I got the best drink ever, Tropica. And I got my game face on. Let's go, my Tropica! <laughs> okay, those were phenomenal auditions. Really, really right? good. All very different, but so authentic. So um, we're going to take you through in just a moment what you need to do that. But yeah. we thought, seeing as we've got Sanelli connected to us right now, we needed to ask her for her tips, because you've already delivered. You've already got the gig, yo. Yeah. Um, what do you think, because now that we've seen the level of quality of all of these entrants so far, what do you think is going to make the difference for this audition video potentially? Oh man, okay, first and foremost, can I just say, Cape Town family, Mzanzi, you are doing amazing. These auditions are incredible. I'm just like, I'm so glad that the audition panel are people who know what they're doing because it's going to be a very difficult decision. However, I first and foremost want to touch on what you just said, Graham, in terms of being authentic. You need to make sure that you're yourself because when we are in Zanzibar, my friend, and the cameras are on you and we are there, there's competition, there is your share of a million rand on the line, people's real true colors are going to come out, right? Yeah. So you got to give us the truest version of you, okay? Then, something I wanna add, right, that I think some people sometimes forget, is you gotta tell us about you and your life. What are the things that you do every now and again that kind of will allow you to be the best partner possible, as well as allow you to be competitive? You know, are you somebody who goes for a run every morning? Are you somebody who maybe has games nights with your family every now and again, so you know you've got that little bit of an edge when it comes to games in general? Let us know what it is in your life that's gonna help you out on the island and make you the ultimate competitor. And finally, I am just going to say my friend put in the effort make mm. that video as creative as you possibly can just so you can stand out you know what i mean because at the end of the day there are a couple of spots and you could have one of them but you need to make sure that you stand out so that's what i would say guys okay this uh, makes sense but uh, you know zanele when it comes to uh, somebody who's perhaps not as active like you know doesn't have all of the i've been part of the rowing club etc <laughs> is there is there any chance that they'd mm -hmm. accept somebody that said that survived debit orders and load shedding for 
Tropica. <laughs> I'm just asking. You know what, Fred? I think that that makes all of us just, you know, really <laughs> allowed to enter and more than anything, fit the bill because you're 100%. I always say being a South African is an extreme sport. Yep. So the fact that we are South African and surviving, you know what I mean? Oh, it yeah. allows us to just really be part of the people who deserve. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's why you find South Africa next to spelunking. It's just on the same list, yeah. man. It's that <laughs> level of danger out here. We've been sustaining, yo. Um, absolutely love it. The bottom line is take the leap, just do it. Your life could change. And it's not always the winners whose lives change dramatically. Yep. Just about everyone on the island generally launches a social media career on top of everything else. So how do we do it? Simply upload your audition to social media. I reckon that's the best mode. Tag at MyTropica and include that hashtag Tropica for a chance to be a contestant heading to Tropica's Island of Treasure. And if uh, posting on the socials isn't your thing, makes you a little bit nervous, you can upload your audition using the link found at MyTropica's pages. Or you can just simply email your audition to tropicaauditions at gmail.com. Also, Easy. what you've heard there, it's authenticity, okay? Remember, just be yourself. You don't have to have have a six pack you just have to have a whole lot of you involved in that audition remember the seven contestants chosen to head to the island will actually also receive a 10,000 rand prize before getting sure. to zanzibar courtesy of deep Eat. auditions close 5 may and this is your chance to win your share of 1 million rand so get entering right now and i i can say that that is smooth t's and c's apply and good luck to you we're in Zanzibar for Tropica Island of Treasure. Are you? Did you just swim here from South Africa? There's an easier way to find fame and your share of a smooth million rand fortune. Simply upload your audition to social media, explain why you're a match for our celebs. Add the hashtag Tropica and tag at my Tropica and we can see you in Zanzibar. Buy a Tropica now and enter to be on the island. Good luck for the auditions, but let's do something nice and easy that's not, I suppose, as daunting as auditioning for something. We are adding another easy dinner recipe to your weekly rotation, and this is sheet pan pesto gnocchi with bursted tomatoes and duck sausage and burrata. Come on. Now, all you need is one pan and a gabby, and you'll be fine. Hi. How are you? I'm great. So, <laughs> gnocchi has been a, oh, a, a, it's a delight. So it's it's a it's a melt in your mouth type of experience. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. However, let's prepare this. Let's prepare let's this. Let's do it. So what I love about this recipe, like you said, one pan. Yeah. Easy. I mean, we've got our cooked gnocchi here, which yes. I'm going to put the one side of our pan. Is it really this easy? I feel like no, seriously, it's this. It was easy. supposed to be prep and stuff and cutting and the making that whole you know the gnocchi sausage and you cut it. No. G -g 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 nothing. No, no, no. no. Oh, We're okay. keeping our. We're done. Doing Alice just easy. Alice easy, easy <laughs> is our middle names on the weekend. <laughs> and uh, I just feel like, especially when winter starts and those colder days start arriving, yep. like to have gnocchi is just, just like a hug in your mouth. It's just it's so comforting. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. You um, but are you the scratch made gnocchi person? Or oh, do you I like love do you trigger the, you know, the Italiano heritage? See, si, absolutely. Okay, there we uh, go. Anyway. But you know, it's a. Uh, I, don't, I even like at work, I make this, this gnocchi special whenever it's cold and I literally have a customer that phones in, like he'll, he'll phone and be like, so I guess I just like, say who it is, he'll be like, Gabby, it's raining on Tuesday, uh -huh. which means I know that by half past three that gnocchi must be ready, Yes. which is so funny. Um, so yeah, we've got our tomatoes, I've got some red onion here, I, see, I mean it's so easy. What you're doing right here, this is why winter excites me. Yes. Is because I get to use the oven a bit more and I get a chance Absolutely. to do these. And I love sheet pan recipes because you're getting this amalgamation of flavor. Did I use a big word? Yes, you I did. did. Early in the morning, word. I don't care because we juxtapose the flavor. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to transfuse the flavors between one another. And Absolutely. that's what we're trying to do here, which is good. So, so, so literally, duck sausage you're using there, are you using yes. that for the fat content and flavor of that fat? That'll yes, be it's for fun. It's not just like normal, you know, we're trying to make it fancy today because we're doing like, you know, we've got the burrata, as you said, so uh, okay. why not? Duck why not? sausage, just which is fun. Extreme. Okay, no, I like that. Fun. And so here's the thing, literally, I, I yeah. don't mean to like take stray away from it, but if you can't find duck sausage. Just use normal sausage. Or like, oh, actually, if you want to be really fancy, you get the Italian salsicce. Sausage. Salsicce. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Sorry, I felt like I scored a goal in an Italian football. Sausage! I just, wow! Okay, so we're, 
<laughs> where, where would you find salsiccio? I mean, Adagio's must... will have salsiccio, but I mean, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's a beautiful... I'll ask my friend Giovanni, I love that guy. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful there, so that's like really going proper Italian. But also, if you can't find the duck, then also I think pork would be great. Okay. Nice, simple little pork sausage. Could you do chorizo? Ooh, you're speaking foreign to me I now. am, and I know. Uh, don't you love it when um, I speak foreign? I know. It's like that. Okay. And then we should be throwing this into the oven for 15 minutes at 180 degrees. And then voila, this is what we have. Okay. And I'm going to take it now and toss it in do our a, bowl. Do a thing here. Because the burrata is actually what I wanted to oh, see. Oh my gosh, burrata. Uh, burrata is like the Seriously. charcuterie table staple. No, it's honestly, like, for me, if I'm ever entertaining, I'm just like burrata on anything, and it's That's just it. like the best thing in the world. And also, burrata takes on other flavors as well, like a pesto and, oh, and, so and sun-dried tomatoes. And, it's so oh, good. the decadence of it. Shoo! It's actually oh. sausage. <laughs> it's making me flustered here. It's, it's making me... It's, it's quite warm. <laughs> the oven's not even on yet. What's going on? <laughs> Woo! All right. Okay, so we've got now... Oh, this little piece of tomato came out here. Um, okay, so I'm going to just put... The, obviously, we've already got a ready-made one. But we're gonna put I that in print there. Print that picture out and make a T-shirt. And make. It. That's what I want to do. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And it's now. Interesting. Right. And now we've got we've got our burrattini over here. Burrattini. So that's a small version of a burrato. Oh, Anyone well, hadn't guessed that Does already. Does that make me a presentini? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> anyway, yes, you were saying. Sorry, burrattini. <laughs> Which we're just going to kind of um, shred over here. Yes, I oh, um, see, this is what I... And if you can't get a hold of this in, um, Bocconcini is also absolutely fine. Bocconcini, is that a small the, book? That's <laughs> the small mozzarella balls. Oh gosh, we're gonna start talking okay. about balls again, that's <laughs> not me. Sorry, um, that's Graham's job. <laughs> right, uh, <laughs> Ta -da. is that it? That's it, that's it, we're done. Quick, easy, May Quick, I? Yeah, please do, please do. Right, <laughs> allow me to. Just demonstrate. So what I want to do is get a, a bit of everything. So I've got a bit of the uh, burrata, chini, mm -hmm. and the uh, duck sausage here. I also need the, uh, it's, uh, okay. Let me see, maybe this will change my life. Oh. Good, Abe. Mm. Bellissimo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. Mm. It's actually, it's, and it's so easy. It's, and it's satisfying. Okay. <laughs> what I see. The, the flavor is uh, very good because the gnocchi, there's a texture, and the, the duck sausage, and the tomato, and the bollaccini. That's a very beautiful. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad I'm sorry, to hear. No, I don't know what happened to me. It's no, amazing. It, it, it transported you back to, it, back to Italy. Yes, it did. Yes, back oh. there. Yes. Oh, my word. This is fantastic. Sausage. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gabby. You've been uh, incredible as always. I'm still chewing because it's amazing. And also, I that was a lot of one thing on a spoon. No, I'm actually taking there. this. This is breakfast today. There wow. we go. Your pot but if you want to get this recipe, what Gabby has done is that she's added sausage, which <laughs> with, with sausage, I don't even know what it's called anymore because this is how amazing it is. Expressoshow.com. So please go grab your recipe. I know that doesn't come with a Gabby, but <laughs> sure, please give it a shot. This is amazing. Honestly, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Woo! Gnocchi. Hello. <laughs> We'll see if we can throw in our own little presentini bellissimo, which means a beautiful little presenter. We might just add one into the box. Well, we've had our starters. We've had our main course and dessert is on the way. He's the hit maker. He's a viral sensation. Tyler, ICU is here to officially kickstart the weekend after this. Come on.
The business that we deal in is the business of feeling good. You know what I mean? So this is why we always make sure that our Feel Good Breakfast Show is indeed packed with everything and all the nourishment you need to get you into the rest of your day, and particularly on a Friday to get you into the weekend. And this is why we've got in the building still Tumelo Z8. Tumelo, what's this right for Trump? I'm so happy, Lilo. I'm good, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with us the whole thank you for morning. Having me. Of course. Yes. But of course, we don't want you to go anywhere just yet because you yeah, owe us yeah. Lilo first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, Expresso Family, you know that we are heading off to the Metro FM Music Awards next week and this King right here he's nominated four times I know that it's like such a beautiful feeling man. Yeah, yeah 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 but tell us a little bit about the awards and what are you looking forward to the most you know it's first time like getting nominated four times so to me as I said oh my god as I said, <laughs> it, yes. it's a huge thing for me you know mm. and I'm looking like forward to like be begging at least two or one yes. you know? I'm looking forward to win o all four I even to me, we need it. It's not possible, you know it. You possible. never know. We've, we've, we've seen it happen once or twice, so somebody just cleans up. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be hoping for all four, and you, in fact, are somebody that yeah, I also sometimes know. Sometimes God is good, obviously. Exactly, there mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. There it is. But, Tumelo, I mean, we spoke about this earlier on, the fact that you're so young. Yeah, you're yeah. only 20 years old, already in the music industry, and just killing it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to ask you, if you had to tell everyone at home, you know, and particularly the young people, just a message of, don't give up. What would you say to them? Head high, man. Mm. Work harder, you know. Sometimes, you know. Yes. So, vulgar, grind, you know, focus. Yeah. You no, know, yeah. Keep working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. And is that what you're going to keep doing? Yeah, obviously. Come on. <laughs> Come on, a superstar. So, 27 April, we're going to Mbombela. Yeah. We're going to be at the stadium. We're going to be in Mbombela. Yeah. Have you been to Mbombela? No, not at all. Are you serious? Yeah, not at all. I love this. I'm also going to be there, actually, Tumelo, because oh, I'm the green room host. Me. Yeah, so, so that's why I'm like, I'm getting ready to interview you again okay because you know, cool. we're going to be interviewing all of the winners yeah, backstage yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean oh so i've already won that's it <laughs> <laughs> i love that Dumelo, i want to ask you as well just in terms of you now going into the rest of your career mm -hmm. what's something that you're really looking forward to not even in just 2024 but what are you hoping for in this beautiful journey that you're on you know gaining more traction you know growth mm. um you know just giving people yes. that's all you know just having fun with like what i have now you know come on yeah and that's what it's about at the end of the yeah. day if you're having fun the rest of mzansi is having fun yeah beautiful well expresso family this king right here he's about to take us into the weekend for sure everybody please make some noise with tumelo it is gilimele
goodness. You are so incredible, Tumelo. Thank you so, so yes, much. Yes, to you winning all of the Metro Frame Music Awards that you are nominated for. Somebody that we can be proud of indeed, only 20 years old and doing the things that need to be done. So beautiful for us to be able to celebrate talents like this. Cape Town, wouldn't you say so? Sure, completely. We aren't the only people who are saying it. If you take a look at our social media threads at the moment, our streams, people absolutely loving him. Yo, Makone says, ah, aziwe, aziwe, ke, aziwe, ke. Yeah, mm. I love it, Tums. I also love Tumelo, he's amazing. Oh, just an incredible young talent, Teresa saying, great talent for a 20 year old. Well done. Oh, wow. Bam. All right, and this one, great performance, Tums. Uh, it's from Azet as well. My son in law and grandson were. Dancing as well. You see, that's the whole idea. Express that we bring people together, and I'm so glad you're part of it. Mm -hmm. And you keep dancing. We'll see you on Monday. Stay safe, and don't forget, we love you. Adios. Say goodbye to nausea and cramps and say hello to delicious freedom with Nolax range of lactose-free milk and yogurt. Be free with lactose-free. Another feel-good production. I'll tell tell her. Catch Top Travel on Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. with repeats on Sundays at 1.30 p.m. on S3. And stand a chance to win a trip to Amsterdam for two. Plus spending money brought to you by Halls and KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. To enter, head to at Top Travel TV. Um, yeah, it is very vague. Patients will chow this and spit it out, eh? <laughs> but that's like at, that a handle is not a place. So is, is it at, on socials, yeah. Cool. Catch Top Travel on Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. with repeats on Sundays at 1.30 p.m. on S3. And stand a chance to win a trip to Amsterdam for two plus spending money brought to you by Halls and KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. To enter, head to at Top Travel TV on all the socials and the T's and C's apply. Good luck. Yeah, uh, I have no doubt you'll want to do it again. Cool. Okay, I'm going to race. I'll be two minutes.